Unit 1. The Weekend. Page 2. 2. Let's listen. What did these people do last weekend? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. So how was your weekend, Don? Well, I wanted to go dancing with my girlfriend, but she was too tired to go out. So what did you do? We just stayed home and watched TV. 2. I had a great weekend. What happened? I met this really terrific girl, and I think she likes me. Really? Yeah, we're going out next weekend. All right. 3. What did you do last weekend? Um, I spent most of the time at the gym. How come? Well, I plan to enter a bodybuilding competition next month. Gee, I didn't know you were a bodybuilder. Yeah, want to see my muscles? 4. So, what was your weekend like? Not very good. My brother came over. Yeah? Well, he's got three young boys. I spent all weekend playing computer games with my nephews. Now I'm exhausted. I'll bet. Five. Did you have a nice weekend? Not too bad. Did you do anything special? Well, I saw a really good movie. Who with? Oh, I don't think you know him. It's this really good-looking guy I just met. 6. Did you have a nice weekend, Teresa? It was okay. So what did you do? Well, I met some friends on Saturday and we rented a video. How about Sunday? Did you see the World Series on TV? The what? The baseball game. Oh, no, I was too tired. I slept most of the day. You're kidding. You missed a really great game. Page 3. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Did these people enjoy their weekend? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. So, how was your weekend? Oh, I went to see that new science fiction movie downtown. Oh, yeah? How was it? Boring. I think I fell asleep in the middle of it. <laughs> 2. What was your weekend like? Awful. How come? I went to the beach for the weekend, but it was cold and wet the whole time. Oh, yuck. 3. So, what did you do over the weekend? Oh, I stayed home and read. Sounds pretty boring. Not really. I finished reading a terrific novel. Want to borrow it? Maybe some other time. 4. How was your weekend? I went to a great outdoor concert and met some really interesting people. And guess what? I met this guy who loves tennis. We're going to get together for a game on Saturday. So you're not playing tennis with me? Oh, well, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Five. Did you do anything interesting over the weekend? Well, I had to study for an exam. All weekend? Yeah, it was pretty awful. When's the exam? Today. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. 6. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I had a great weekend. I was out both Friday and Saturday night with friends, but now I'm so tired. I won't do that again for a while. Too bad. I was going to ask you out next weekend. Oh, well. Page 3. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What did each person do on the weekend? Circle the correct answer. 4. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their weekends. How was each person's weekend? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I had a really great weekend. I didn't have anything to do on Saturday afternoon, so I went to the mall. I went into a department store to look around. They were having a contest. All you had to do was write answers to some easy questions about pop music and put your answers in a box. Then they pulled out three names for a prize. And guess what? Mine was the first name they pulled out.
I couldn't believe it. And it's a terrific prize. A weekend for two in Las Vegas. 2. Saturday morning, I got a phone call from an old school friend. I haven't seen her for a long time. She was one of my closest friends in high school, but she moved to Los Angeles to work. She was in town for four days, so she invited me to a restaurant for lunch. We had such a pleasant time together. She was telling me about her job in Los Angeles. It sounds really interesting. She works for a movie company, and she has to find places where they can film movies. You know, places like restaurants, hotel lobbies, parks, and streets. 3. My brother and I wanted some exercise on Sunday, so we decided to go on a nature walk. There's a big park near the town where there are supposed to be wonderful wild birds and butterflies. We took a bus there and walked along a forest trail for about four hours. It was pretty tiring because it was a really hot day. The worst thing was, we never saw any wild birds or butterflies. <laughs> I don't think we'll go there again. 4. I went to my friend's birthday party on Saturday night. I don't always enjoy going to birthday parties because you often have to play stupid games and things. Well, we did have to play all sorts of stupid games, but I really enjoyed myself. I guess it was because the people at the party were all interesting, and there was good music, too. Somebody brought along some dance music, and everyone had a great time dancing. I didn't get home until after 2 a.m. Page 4. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 2. City Transportation. Page 6. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about transportation. Listen and number the pictures. 1. Are the subways always this crowded? Yep. Every morning and in the evening at rush hour. Wow. 2. How much is the fare? It's $1.25. Just put your money in the box right there. Oh, do you have change? No, you need the exact change. 3. Are you free? Sure, hop in. Where to? The Central Hotel. Do you know where that is? Yeah, it's not far from here. About a 10-minute ride. Okay. 4. One ticket to Chicago, please. Yeah, okay, that's $24. Does this one have a dining car? Yeah, there's a dining car and a snack bar. Here's your change. Thanks. Five. What time is the next shuttle flight to Boston? It leaves in 30 minutes. Is it too late to get a ticket? No, you still have plenty of time to make it. Great. And how long is the flight? It's about 45 minutes. Six. Is that our ferry? I think so. It looks a little rough out there today. I think I'm going to get sick. Oh, dear. Page 7. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Four hotel guests are calling for a taxi. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. City cabs. Yes, I'd like a taxi to the airport, please. I'm at 421 Evergreen Street. Certainly. For how many passengers? Just one. About how much will it cost? It's $40. Your taxi number is 6889. 6889. Thanks. And will the taxi be here soon? I'm in a hurry because my flight leaves in two hours. It'll be in front of your hotel in five minutes. Thanks. Two. City cabs. Could I have a taxi to the National Museum, please? Sure. How many passengers are there? 
There are three of us. Okay. And about how much is it to the museum from my hotel, the American Inn on Fourth Street? It'll be about twenty dollars. That's fine. And will it take long to get there? I'm in a hurry because the museum closes in two hours. No problem. We'll have you there by three thirty. Great. And let me give you your taxi number. It's number three five five six. Thanks. Three. City cabs. Yes, I need a taxi to the train station, please. I'm at eight one seven Iowa Avenue. For how many passengers? Just me. Sure. And do you want it right now? Yes, as soon as you can, please. I'm in a hurry. I have to catch a train. What time is your train? It's at three o'clock. No problem. Oh, and about how much is it from here by taxi? It will be about fifteen dollars. Thanks. And your taxi number will be four nine one seven eight. Four. City cabs. Yes, I'd like a cab to the hospital, please. Sure. Do you have an emergency? No, but I need to get there in a hurry. My friend has just had a baby. I want to take her some flowers. It won't take long to get there. Is there just one passenger? Yes, that's right. Oh, and I'm at one twenty-first Avenue. Okay, there'll be a taxi at your door in three minutes. The taxi number is five three nine nine. Thanks. And about how much is the fare? It'll cost you about eighteen dollars. Thanks. Page seven, three. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. How much will each ride cost? Circle the correct answer. Page eight, four. Let's listen. Task one. Visitors are talking about taxis. Listen and check their opinions about taxi service. One. I hate using taxis here. The drivers drive too fast and really dangerously, and they're often rude. The cars are mostly in pretty poor condition, but what I hate most is that they aren't air conditioned. It's so hot here. They really need air conditioned taxis. By the time I arrive somewhere, I feel really hot and uncomfortable. Two, I've taken quite a few taxi rides recently. I've never had any big problems using taxis here. They're usually clean, and the cars are pretty new. The prices are good too. The thing I like most, though, is the drivers. They drive very carefully, and I think that's very important. Three. I find the taxis here are okay. They're pretty comfortable. Most of the cars they use are new, and they keep them really clean. They're a little expensive, though. I paid fifty dollars to come from the airport. That is too expensive. I guess the thing I hate the most, though, is that the drivers don't speak English very well. It's very difficult to explain to them where you want to go. Four. The taxis here are okay, I guess. They're very cheap, so that's the thing I like most about them. It never costs more than a few dollars to go anywhere. But the taxis are all pretty old, so they're not very comfortable. Half of them don't have seatbelts or air conditioning. Page eight, four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Unit three, renting a car, page ten, two. Let's listen. People are talking about vehicles. Listen and number the pictures. One. Let me show you this two-door car. You mean the blue one? That's right. People love renting this car. It's fast and fun, and it's got a really great stereo system. You'll have a great time at the beach with this car. Well, I don't know. I am going to the beach, but I'm taking my brother and his kids with me. Do you have anything bigger and you know safer? 
Like a minivan? Sure. There's one right behind you. Two. I'm so glad we rented this time. Me too. The RV was a little more expensive than a regular car, but it's so roomy and comfortable. And the kids love it. Yeah, they can really stretch out and relax in here. And that means we can relax too. Three. So, what do you think? Wow, what a beautiful sports car. I know, it's really fast. How do you afford a car like this? Do you have a really important job? Well, actually, I'm still a student. This is just a rental car. Oh, I see. Well, it's still a very nice car. Four. Hi there. Can I help you? Yeah, I need to rent a car, but I don't want to spend too much. Then you've come to the right place. Here at Renarec, we fix up old cars and rent them for the lowest prices in town. Nice. Do they still run okay? Oh, sure. And they're only $20 a day. Five. Wow! Just look at this baby! How long is it anyway? Four meters? Five? Almost, but not quite. Let me open the door for you, sir. Hey, thanks. Jeez, it's so big inside. I could put my whole apartment in here. They'll be really impressed when I come to the wedding in a car like this. Is this your first time renting a limo, sir? Yeah. How did you know? Six. I'm moving this weekend, so I rented a big yellow truck. I'm really glad I did. It doesn't cost very much, and there's plenty of room for my things. And that's good, you know, because when I started moving my boxes out of the house, I realized that I had a lot of stuff. And I mean a lot. It would take all day to move it in my tiny car. Page 11. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are discussing cars at a rental agency. Listen and check the correct information. 1. Hi. I'm in town on business and I need a car. Sure. How long do you need it for? I guess for seven days. Then I can use it to go sightseeing over the weekend when I finish my business here. Fine. We have lots of cars for you to choose from. But first, will you be the only driver? Yes, I will. Okay. What kind of car would you like? Just a regular, medium-sized car. Great. When you finish with the car, do you want to leave it in the city or at the airport? I'll leave it at the airport. Certainly. Let me just check and see what we can offer you. Two. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to rent a car, please. I need it from Friday till Sunday. It's my wife's birthday, and we're celebrating. Certainly, sir. We have special rates for the weekend. That's perfect. Will you be the only driver? No, my son will also be driving. Okay. Would you like a small car? Well, no. There will be six of us, so we'll need a large car or van. Of course. No problem. And do you want to leave it at the airport when you finish? No, we'll be staying in the city for a few more days, but we won't need the car after Sunday. Okay, then you can leave it at the city location. 3. Hi, I'd like to rent a car, please. Sure. I'm here for meetings all next week, and I'll need a car to get around. Certainly. Just for yourself, ma'am? That's right. I'll be the only driver. I don't need a large car. How about a nice new Volkswagen Beetle? It's small, but very comfortable. Sounds good. And you can either bring it back here to the airport when you finish, or drop it off in the city. I'll bring it back here to the airport, thanks. Fine. Then let me tell you how much it's going to cost. Four. Hi. My sister and I are here for a vacation, and we'd like to rent a car. All right. Is that for a week? No. It'll be for ten days altogether. Okay. I have a nice large car available. Well, there are just the two of us, so we don't need such a big car. I see. Just you and your sister? Will both of you be driving? No, just me. She doesn't have a license. Okay. I think I have a nice, new, medium-sized car that just came in. How's that? Sounds great.
And where will you drop it off when you finish? Oh, here at the airport, if that's okay. That's fine. Page 11. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Why does each person want to rent a car? Circle the correct answer. Page 12. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. A car rental agent is suggesting different options to customers. Do the customers accept or refuse the options? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Right now you're taking a small car, but you know, I can give you a much more comfortable car if you like. How much more will it cost to take a large car? It's only an extra $5 a day if you take it for the whole weekend. Oh, that's a good idea because we'll have more room. We have three children, so a bigger car would be much more comfortable. 2. Would you like to buy a city guide? How much is it? It's $15. $15? Can I look at it? Sure. Here you are. Let me see what kind of information it has in it. Hmm. Sightseeing, restaurants, hotels. Actually, I already have a guide that has all that information. So, thanks anyway. No problem. 3. It's cheaper for you to take the car for three days instead of just for two days. How come? Well, it's $30 a day, but if you take it for three days, we have a special rate of just $70 altogether. I see. Actually, I'm leaving on Sunday. I really only need it for two days. Thanks anyway. 4. Would you like to take out accident insurance? We have an excellent policy we can offer you. Take a look at this brochure. It gives you all the information you'll need. Thanks. Let me see. What does it say? Oh, I see. It only costs an extra $5 a day. That seems pretty reasonable. So you'll take the accident insurance? Yes. I think I will because I can drive without worrying. You certainly can. 5. Now, are you sure you wouldn't like to rent a bigger car? The car you've asked for only has two doors. It's probably more convenient to have a four-door car. Does it cost any more? It's just an extra $10 for a four-door. Well, I don't think it's necessary because I'll be alone. A small two-door car is fine. Thanks anyway. 6. You rent cars a lot. Are you interested in joining our car rental club? You can save money on car rentals that way. We have branches in all the major cities. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Can I look at the brochure, please? Here you are. Hmm. This is good. I can get a 20% discount every time I rent a car. That's right. 20% off every time. Excellent. I think I'd like to join, please. I can save a lot of money. Page 12. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. <music> Unit 4. Parties. Page 14. 2. Let's listen. People are discussing parties. What kind of event are they talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Here we are. Can you turn on the light? My hands are full. Sure. <gasps> Surprise! Happy anniversary, honey. And I thought you forgot. 2. Are you going to Joe's party? Yes, I am. What are you going to bring? I'm going to bring a homemade pizza. How about you? I think I'll bring a dessert. Maybe a chocolate cake. 3. David, are you doing anything this Saturday? Not a thing. Why? Andy is turning 20, and I'm having a party for him. Can you come? Sure. I can't wait to see him try and blow out 20 candles. Great. Show up at about 7.30. 
Four. Are you going to Susie's party? Yes, I am. What kind of party is it? Well, I heard she's going to make dinner for everyone. The food will be served buffet style, I think. Sounds nice. Five. Hi, Ted. Hi, Lynn. Hey, are you free on Saturday afternoon? Yeah. What do you have in mind? Well, I'm going down to the park with some friends. We're going to grill some steaks down there. Why don't you come? Okay, thanks. I'll bring something to drink. Six. Would you like to come for dinner tomorrow night? I'm having a few people over. Yeah, sure. Is it potluck? Yes, it is. Okay. What should I bring? Well, you could bring dessert and a date if you want. Page fifteen, three. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking at a party. Listen and number the pictures. One. Mmm, this is really delicious. Did you make it yourself? Yes, I did. What's it got in it? Chocolate, and more chocolate. Two. Do you play? Yes, I do. Well, a little. Why don't you play something for us? Maybe in a while, after I've met a few more people. Three. This is really good. What does it have in it? Three different kinds of fruit juices and some soda. Well, the three different juices make it delicious. I think I'll try it for my next party. Four. Are they your parents? Yes, they are. Come on over, and I'll introduce you to them. Five. Oh, I like this. Who did it? I did. Really? I didn't know you painted. Yes, I do. But this isn't one of my best. Six. He's cute. What's his name? Well, it's a she, really. Her name's Fluffy. Can I hold her? Of course. <coughs> Ouch! Why'd she do that? Page fifteen, three. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Page sixteen, four. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking about parties. What did they do at each party? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Hey, what a great party that was! There were lots of interesting people there and some really cute guys. I met one really nice guy named Tony. I think he's going to call me next week. Anyway, the best thing was the music. Everyone danced a lot. I'm really glad we didn't have to play party games or sing stupid songs. The food was good too. We ate outside, you know, barbecue style. Two. Peter's party was terrible. We had to play all sorts of stupid games like memorizing everyone's name, twenty questions, I think. Then we watched a home video of Peter's vacation in Hawaii. Boring. Actually, I prefer parties where people just sit around and talk and eat, but we didn't eat till very late. The worst thing was when we finally did eat, there wasn't enough food. I was still feeling hungry when I left. Three. I went to this party on Saturday night. When I arrived, I looked around and I didn't know anyone there, but everyone was really friendly, and soon I got to know a lot of people. I really enjoyed myself. I thought it was going to be a dance party, but no one really felt like dancing. We listened to some nice music, though. There were some guys from Spain there. One of them had a guitar and could play it really well. The best thing was he taught us some neat Spanish songs. We all really enjoyed singing them. Four. I went to a school party on Friday. 
No one had really planned the party. That was the main problem. Also, I think we were all too tired after the exams. The worst thing was, no one brought any music. We just stood around talking and eating junk food. Someone said, let's play some party games. But no one wanted to play games. Everyone went home before 10.30. Page 16. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 5. Restaurants. Page 18. 2. Let's listen. Where do the people decide to eat? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. What do you feel like eating tonight? Oh, something quick. We had a huge lunch at that Chinese restaurant, so let's just pick up some fast fried chicken. 2. I'm really starving. Where can we eat? Well, there's always Pizza Pit or Quick Burger. Pizza sounds better to me than hamburgers. Me too. And it's your treat this time. Three. Do you want to eat out tonight, or would you rather eat at home? We've eaten out a lot this week. I'm perfectly happy to stay home for a change, as long as I don't have to cook. Four. Where do you want to eat tonight? We could try the new Korean restaurant, or would you rather go to the steakhouse? Let's have Korean food. I don't feel like steak tonight. 5. I'd like to try a seafood restaurant today. What do you think? Seafood sounds good. I was going to suggest a pizza, but seafood's a lot better. 6. Where do you want to eat tonight? I'm really hungry. Do you feel like Mexican food? Sure. We've had Japanese food a lot this week, so Mexican would be nice for a change. 7. How about hot dogs or, or hamburgers for dinner? Oh, I'm sick of junk food. Let's do something really special. Why don't we try that new French restaurant? What's the occasion? I've got something I want to ask you. Well, all right. 8. Do you feel like vegetarian food today? Sure. I know a great Thai vegetarian restaurant. Yeah, but I made a great vegetarian spaghetti last night. Do you want to come to my house and try it? Sure. Why not? Page 19. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are ordering food in a restaurant. What does each person order? Listen and check the correct picture. 1. What would you like to order? I think I'll have the fish. Okay, and would you like asparagus or a baked potato? I'll have the asparagus. And could I have some tea, please? Sure. Oh, could you ask the chef to hurry? I'm really starving. Okay. I'll try to get it for you as soon as possible. 2. What would you like to order? I'd like the steak, please. Would you like baked potatoes or fries with that? I'd like fries, please. Okay. And make sure there are lots of fries, please. They're my favorite food. Sure. 3. Have you made up your mind? Yes. I'm going to have spaghetti and a small salad. Anything else? When you bring the spaghetti, could you bring me a bottle of hot sauce? Hot sauce? Like Tabasco sauce? Yes. I like really spicy food. No problem. 4. What can I get you? I'd like a cheeseburger, french fries, and a cola. Okay. But could you make sure there's no salt on the french fries? No salt? Okay. Thanks. I'm on a salt-free diet. I'll make sure there's no salt on the fries. Don't worry. 5. Are you ready to order? Yeah. I'm just going to have some dessert. I'll just have a piece of apple pie. Fine. With ice cream? No, just pie, thanks. Fine. But please don't heat it. You want it cold? Yes. 
I hate hot pie. Okay. Six. What can I get you? I don't want anything to eat. Just a milkshake, please. Sure. What flavor would you like? Vanilla, please. Okay. One vanilla milkshake coming up. And please make sure they don't add any sugar to it. No sugar? That's right. I don't like sweet shakes. Certainly. Page 19. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about restaurants they ate at recently. Listen and check their opinions about each restaurant. 1. We went to Luigi's Italian restaurant last night. It was the first time I'd been there. It took us a long time to find it because it's not a very easy place to get to, actually. The restaurant was okay, I guess. It's small, and they really need some new furniture to make the place look nicer, though. The menu was great. It had lots of choices, and most of the dishes were pretty cheap. I had a terrific pizza. Everything was so cheap. Only three dollars for a small pizza. Unfortunately, the service was very slow. I think they need to hire more staff. Our dinner took a really long time to come, so we didn't leave a very good tip when we left. 2. I tried that new Mexican restaurant last weekend. It's downtown, near the post office. What a great location. You can sit inside and watch everyone go by. It has very nice decor and lighting. The menu has some great choices, too. They have the usual Mexican food you find everywhere, and they also have some different dishes that I've never tried before. The food was really delicious, but you might need a credit card to eat there. It cost over $100 for the two of us, a lot more than I expected. I'll probably go there again, though. The server who waited on us was really nice and quick, too, so we thought she deserved a good tip. 3. I went to a Thai restaurant on Sunday. It's called Bangkok Restaurant. You have to drive for about half an hour to get there, and there's always a lot of traffic. That's the only trouble. It's a really nice place when you get there. Quiet music and lovely flowers everywhere. The menu is good with lots of choices. The food was very spicy, which is the way I like it. Fantastic desserts. It was really cheap, too. The server was very polite and took good care of us, so we left a big tip. 4. There's a new Chinese restaurant just five minutes from my house. It's a very simple place. A little boring inside, actually. Just a few tables in an empty room. They need to add more dishes to the menu, too. Right now they serve only four or five things. But they're all delicious. And very cheap. You can get a good meal there for around five dollars. All the people who work there were very friendly and helpful, so I left a good tip. Page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Did each person leave a good tip? Check the correct answer. <music> Unit 6. Shopping. Page 22. 2. Let's listen. Where are the people? Listen and number the pictures. One. This is nice. I like the color. Do you have a medium? You're holding a medium right now. Oh, good. Can I try it on? Sure. You can go right in there, behind you. Two. Where are these made? They're made in Korea. They're for tennis, right? Can you wear them for jogging, too? Oh, sure. Three. This is really comfortable. Yes, and it would look really nice in the living room. It's almost big enough to sleep on. I know. Should we get it? Four. 
This would be a nice birthday present for Karen. She needs a new one. Oh, I know she does. But isn't it too big for her? I don't think so. You can adjust the seat and she'll love this bell. And the price is right. Five. How about this? Do you think it'll look good on me? Uh, I don't think so. The pattern's not right. And the color's awful. Okay. Let's keep looking. Six. This is a nice big one. There's so much room inside. We really do need a new one. Yes. But is it too big for the kitchen? I'm not sure. It is huge. Page 23. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are discussing items in a store. Listen and check their opinions about each item. 1. What do you think of this jacket? The style's okay, I guess. How much is it? It's $40. Wow, that's really cheap. What colors does it come in? Looks like they have it in black, gray, red, and brown. I like those colors, especially the red one. Try it on. Okay. Well, how do I look? I don't know. It's not exactly your size. Really? Do you think I should buy it anyway? No, don't get it. It's too big. Two. How about this lamp? It's unusual. You mean you don't like the style? Not really. And look at that price. $160? Is that bad? Well, it sounds pretty expensive to me. What about the color? Actually, the color is perfect. It goes perfectly with everything in the room. And the size is just right, too. But it's very expensive. We could put it on the credit card. That's true, I guess. Let's just buy it and go home. 3. I have to get my sister a birthday present. What do you think about this watch? It's really cute. I love the style. It only comes with a black or brown band, though. Yeah, I'd prefer some brighter colors. Brown is so-so. How much is it? Sixty-nine ninety-five. It's okay, I guess. What about the size? It's great. She'll love it. Just get it. Okay. Four. Look at this sofa. What do you think? Oh, uh, I'm not sure I like the style. It's too heavy looking. Is it comfortable? Try it. Mmm, it's really comfortable. And I'd like to have something this size. Our old sofa is way too small. This size is perfect. What do you think of the color? Well, green isn't my favorite color, but it's better than that awful brown one we have now. It's okay, I guess. How much is it? Oh, no. It's $999. That's really too expensive. We can't afford it right now. I know. Why don't we wait till next month for their mid-year sale? It might be cheaper then. Hey, that's a good idea. Page 23. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Do the people buy the items? Check the correct answer. Page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. A sales clerk is describing things in a store. Listen and circle the correct information about each item. 1. These microwave ovens are very popular. You won't find them in other stores because they're made especially for us. We import them from our factory in Mexico. They're very well made and come with a three-year guarantee. Your receipt is your guarantee. One great thing is they only weigh 10 kilos, so you can easily pick one up if you want to move it or clean it. They also have a really special feature you don't find in other microwaves. They display popular recipes on this little screen in front. 
It has recipes for over 500 easy dishes. 2. This jacket is very strong. It's made of nylon, so it's very easy to take care of. It comes in six different colors. You don't need to dry clean it. You can just throw it in the washing machine, then hang it up to dry. And let me show you something really special about it. It's reversible. It turns inside out so you can wear it either way. See? The color inside is different from the color outside. Isn't that great? So you really have two jackets for the price of one. 3. These new flat-screen TVs are very popular nowadays. They're not from the United States. They're made in South Korea. They're quite light, so you can pick them up and move them around if you want to. And the special thing about these TVs is that you can also hang them on the wall. Now that's something you can't do with any other kind of TV. They come in three different sizes. They're more expensive than a regular TV, but they're very convenient, and they look great in your house or apartment. 4. These new watches are very popular with teenagers. They're modern and made entirely of plastic, so they're very light. Each watch comes with six different bands, so you can change the band to match your clothes. Another thing is they're very strong. They're also waterproof. But what's really special is that this is not only a watch. You can use it to send and receive email messages. Page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 7. Air Travel. Page 26. 2. Let's listen. A flight attendant is giving instructions. Listen and number the pictures. 1. Could you put your seat forward now, sir? We'll be landing shortly. So soon? Great. 2. Could you fill out this customs form before we arrive, please? Sure. Thank you. 3. I'm sorry, sir. Please put out your cigarette. There's no smoking. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'll put it out right away. Thank you, sir. 4. Could you fasten your seatbelt, sir? Excuse me? The pilots turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. We may be having some turbulence. I hope it doesn't get too bumpy. I'm sure it will be fine. Whoops! Five. I'm collecting the headphones. We'll be landing in a few minutes. Would you mind passing them to me, please? No problem. Here you go. Six. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Let me put that bag in the overhead compartment for you. It's too big to leave under your seat. Oh, okay. Thanks. Page 27. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Passengers are discussing a problem with a flight attendant. Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Excuse me. These headphones don't seem to be working properly. Really? Are you hearing any sound at all? Yes, but it isn't very clear. Let me check them for you. You're right. I'll get another set of headphones for you after I finish serving the meals. Sure, that's fine. 2. Excuse me, I can't find the safety instruction card. Oh, there should be one in the seat pocket in front of you. Yes, I looked, but there isn't one there. There's just the menu and the magazine. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get another one for you right away. 3. I wonder if I could change my seat. Oh? Is there something wrong with it? Well, I can't see the TV screen very well from where I'm sitting. I'm too far away. Oh, I see. 
Do you mind waiting until all the passengers have boarded the airplane? After everyone is on board, I'll see if I can move you to a different seat. That's fine. Thanks very much. Four. Excuse me. I think there's a problem with my seat number. What's wrong? I should be in business class, but this seat number is for a seat in economy class. Could I check your ticket, please? Yes, I see the problem. You should be in seat 2A, not in seat 22A. I'm so sorry. Come with me now and I'll find your correct seat in business class. Page 27. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Will the flight attendant help each passenger now or later? Check the correct answer. Page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about flights. Listen and check their opinions about each flight. 1. The airport is far away from the city, and it's a pretty horrible place. It's very crowded, and there are not many facilities there. You know, like stores or restaurants. Anyway, my flight was okay. It was a bit bumpy, but it left on time. The food was awful, though. It was dry and tasteless. The service was fantastic. The flight attendants did their best to make everyone feel comfortable. The worst problem was the other passengers. The plane was full of loud college students on their way to spring vacation in Florida. Next time, I won't travel during spring break. 2. It must be one of the best airports in the world. It's full of stores and restaurants, and they even have a gym and a swimming pool there. The flight was great, too. It was very smooth. The food was so-so. I thought they would serve better food. The service wasn't good. The flight attendants were really impolite. Next time, I'll try a different airline. Maybe Gold Star Airlines. 3. The airport is okay, I guess. It's really small, but it's near the city. The flight was great, nice and smooth. I had my own TV screen, and I could choose my own movies. The food was fantastic. It was a spicy meat dish with some very nice vegetables. The only problem was the service. It was very slow because I was sitting right at the back of the plane, and it took the flight attendants a long time to reach me. They weren't very friendly either. Next time, I'll try to get a seat near the front of the plane. 4. It isn't one of my favorite airports, but it's okay. The airport is always very crowded, and it takes a long time to check in and go through immigration. Other than that, it's all right. The flight was pretty awful. As soon as we took off, we ran into bad weather, and it became very bumpy. The food was great. They served a really nice chicken dish. The flight attendants were really nice. I think the next time I fly, I'll check the weather report before I leave. If the weather looks bad along the route, I won't fly. Page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 8. Health Problems. Page 30. 2. Let's listen. People are describing how they feel. Listen and circle the problem. 1. I feel terrible today. I ate too much last night and my stomach doesn't feel well at all. You should take something for it. 2. This pain in my head is terrible. Let me get you some aspirin. Thanks. That's just what I need. Three. I'm not going to school today. I've got to see the dentist. My tooth is really bothering me. Oh, that's too bad. Four. I think I'll stay in bed today. 
I think I hurt myself carrying those bags on the weekend. My back is killing me. Can I give you a massage? Maybe that will help. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll try anything. Five. How do you feel? Sorry, I can't talk. Let me get you some hot lemon tea. That should help. Thanks. Six. I need to go to the drugstore. I have a bad cold and... My head is all stuffed up. Oh, that's too bad. I hope you feel better soon. Page 31. Three. Let's listen. Task 1. People are asking friends what they take for a cold. Listen and number the pictures. 1. What do you take for a bad cold, Ted? Oh, I have this great cold remedy. It always works. I chop up a bunch of garlic, put it in hot water, then drink it. Gross. That sounds awful. It is awful. I hated it when I was a kid, but my grandmother made me drink it every time I got a cold, and I always felt better a few hours later. It works for her, too. She's going to be 94 years old this summer. Mm, maybe I should try it. 2. What do you think is the best thing to take for a cold? I take that new cold medicine. You know, the one they advertise on TV. I've seen that commercial. The one with the dancing pink pills, right? That's the one. Well, anyway, I had this really bad cold a few months ago, and I was watching TV when the commercial came on. So I thought, you know, why not try it? It worked so well for me. Now it's the only thing I take. It sounds pretty effective. 3. Do you have a good cold remedy? Oh, sure. Chicken soup. No way. Does that really work? Have some. I promise you'll feel better. Who makes the soup? Your mom? Actually, my mom's a doctor, so she doesn't believe that chicken soup really works. So I make it myself. I just go down to the supermarket and pick up a can. I got the idea from a story I read in the newspaper. It was all about this guy who ate chicken soup for every meal, and now he's over a hundred years old. I don't know. I never believe that stuff. Four. What do you take for a bad cold, Jill? Well, I don't like to take those cold medicines. They put me to sleep. I bought this last time I had a cold. Whoa, what is that? It looks like the root of a plant. It's called ginseng. It looks kind of weird. Yeah, but it really works. I live across the street from this woman from Korea, and she told me to try it. You should try it, too. Well, I'll think about it. 5. What do you take for a cold, Helen? Oh, orange juice. It's supposed to be good for you because it has a lot of vitamin C in it. I make a big pitcher of it and drink it all the time. Interesting. Maybe I should try it. You really should. I read about it on this website for health problems, you know, on the Internet. It says that drinking a lot of orange juice can cure just about anything, even stuff like toothaches and sore muscles. Well, I'm not sure about that, but I'll try it next time I have a cold. 6. Do you have a good cold remedy? Oh, sure. I usually make some hot tea with a little honey and lemon juice in it. I feel much better after that. Yeah, but you probably take cold medicine, too. No, not at all. Those cold medicines make me feel really strange. I was complaining about it one day to this friend of mine who was an opera singer. She told me to try that tea. She said it's what all the famous singers drink when they have a cold. Oh, yeah? Has your singing improved, too? Actually, I think it has. Listen. La, 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 la. Page 31. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Where did each person learn the cold remedy? Circle the correct answer. Page 32. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Four people are talking about health problems. Listen 
and check the correct information. 1. Patrick I woke up this morning with a really bad stomach ache. At first, I thought it was because I ate a really big dinner last night. I often have a stomach ache if I eat too much. Anyway, I, I took some medicine, but I don't think it's working because my stomach still feels funny. So I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. Maybe she can give me something stronger. It's awful because if I'm sick, I can't go to my friend's concert tomorrow night. 2. Jenna I really hurt my arm playing tennis on Saturday. It's strange because I've been playing tennis for a long time and I've never had this problem before. I can hardly lift my arm at all. It's really sore. I've been taking aspirin for the pain, and that helps a little, but if it isn't any better tomorrow, I'll go and see the sports doctor. It's annoying, because we have the tennis championships this weekend. If it isn't better, I won't be able to play. 3. Kenneth I have a bad ear infection. It started after I went swimming last weekend. It's really painful, and I can hardly sleep at night. I often get ear infections in the summer. The doctor gave me some ear drops and some antibiotics, so it should get better in a few days. I hope my ears get better because I have to play in a band at a party next Saturday. 4. Alexis I came down with food poisoning two days ago. It was awful. I went out for dinner and ate fish. I don't think the fish was fresh because I got really sick in the middle of the night. Luckily, I had some medicine in the house because I had the same problem once before. I didn't go to the doctor. I just took the medicine, and I feel better today. Unfortunately, I probably won't go to my best friend's birthday party tonight. I still don't feel 100% well. That's life, I guess. Page 32. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. This is the end of Compact Disc 1. Developing Tactics for Listening, 2nd Edition, by Jack C. Richards. Published and copyright, Oxford University Press, 2003. Compact Disc 2. Unit 9, Work and Jobs. Page 34. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about their jobs. Listen and number the pictures. 1. So, you're a teacher, is that right? Yep. Do you enjoy teaching? Yes, I do. The vacations are great, but I've got a really difficult class this year. I try everything, but they just don't want to learn anything. Maybe it's the way I teach. 2. So, how long have you been a flight attendant? For nearly 10 years. Do you like flying? Actually, I do. I love it. And I meet lots of interesting passengers. The only thing I don't like is staying in hotels all the time. I miss home cooking. 3. So, you're an architect. That must be interesting. Yes, it is. Right now we're in the middle of a big project. We're designing a new hotel. Uh-huh. The only trouble is the woman I work with and I have completely different ideas of what it should look like. Is that going to be a problem? I hope not. You see... I'm her boss. 4. So, you work in an auto shop? That's right. Bob's Auto on 4th Street. Do you know it? Yeah, I think so. Do you enjoy working on cars? Yeah, I really do. I love anything mechanical. The only trouble is the shop's about an hour from my house. An hour? So what do you do? Drive? Sometimes. Sometimes I take the bus. The commute's the worst part. But the money's good. It kind of makes up for it. 5. 
Where do you work, Cindy? In a bookstore. Oh, do you like it there? Well, the money isn't bad. Ah.、Uh-huh. But the boss is a bit strange. Not at all friendly, and he's got a terrible temper. Oh. Six. So what do you do, Tony? I'm a hairdresser. Oh, what's it like? Well, I love my customers. Some of them are so friendly, but it's tiring work. I work long hours and I'm on my feet all day. Yeah, that must be tiring. Page thirty-five. Three. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking about their jobs. What does each person do? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. So where do you work now, Phil? I'm working at a nightclub downtown. Hey, that's kind of interesting. Are you the manager or something? Oh yeah, right. Actually, I play the drums in the band. Oh, how long have you been playing the drums? Well, only for two weeks, but I'm learning real fast. Two. Where do you work, Ted? At a hotel. I'm with the Grand City Towers. Oh yeah? Do you like it? It's pretty good. I get to meet some really interesting people. Oh, are you the manager? Well, not yet. I'm still carrying bags, but I'm sure I'll be manager before long. Three. So you work for a TV producer. That must be interesting work. It's okay. And what kind of work do you do? Well, I'm on the road a lot. Oh yeah, a kind of personal secretary. Well, not quite. I drive her to work. Four. So you work in an office? That's right. How do you like it? Well, it's pretty boring. Oh yeah. What do you do there? Oh, I type, answer the phone, that sort of thing, and it really doesn't pay much. So why do you stay there? I like my coworkers. Five. Where do you work? I work for the city newspaper. Really? Yeah, I write about sports. Have you read any of my stories? Maybe. Say, what's your name again? Ted Grant. The Ted Grant. Can I have your autograph? Six. Are you still working in a bar on the weekend? That's right. But I'm not working as a waitress anymore. Oh? Yeah. Now I'm working the cash register. <laughs> Lucky you. Page thirty-five, three. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Circle the correct answer. Page thirty-six, four. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking about their jobs. Which statement is true? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. I work for a market research company. We do research for companies that are planning to develop new products. I call people and ask them questions about products they are using now. Sometimes I invite people to come to meetings. We discuss plans for new products with them. It's pretty interesting work. I've been doing it for nearly fifteen years now, and I've got no plans to change jobs. The thing I really like about my job is that each month I'm working on something completely different, so it never gets boring. Two. I have my own design company. It's very small, just me and two assistants. I design brochures, advertisements for magazines, menus, and things like that. It's a very creative job. I started this company just two years ago after I graduated from design school. Things have gone pretty well for me. I have two big clients, and most of my work is for them. Sometimes I have to work very late at night if I have a big job to finish quickly. I always have plenty of work to do, and I am always busy. Three. I've had my own restaurant for ten years. When I first bought this place, I thought it would be easy to run, but it's very hard work. I work long hours. Sometimes we're very busy, and sometimes we're very slow. We usually have a lot of customers on the weekends. During the week, it's sometimes quiet. I never have a day off because there are always so many things to do. 
I don't do any of the cooking myself. I have three very good chefs to do that. Owning a restaurant is a tough job, but I love it. I don't want to do anything else. Four. I'm a flight attendant. Many people think it's a boring job, but I love it. I get to travel all over the world, and I meet lots of interesting people. I like that. The job is pretty easy, really. We don't work nonstop for the whole flight. We have plenty of time to sit down and take a break. On long flights, we can even take a nap. Also, the money is very good because all our expenses are paid when we're working. Page thirty-six, four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Circle the word that each person uses to describe his or her job. Unit ten, keeping fit, page thirty-eight. Two, let's listen. People are talking about New Year's resolutions. What is each person going to do? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. What's your New Year's resolution, Lee? I'm really going to get in shape this year. I'm going to exercise every day and lose five kilos. You watch. Two. Have you made any New Year's resolutions? Sure, I'm going to give up smoking. Why don't you enroll in a program that helps people stop smoking? That sounds like a great idea. Three. I need to get more exercise. You should do more walking. Maybe you could walk to the subway every day instead of taking the bus. Yeah, I think I will. And why not take up jogging?、Uh, let's not push it. I can't stand jogging. Four. What are you going to do for the new year? Well, everyone tells me I look too thin. I need to put on a couple of kilos. Why don't you join a gym and lift weights? No time. I think I'll go back and live with my mom. She's the greatest cook. Five. So, what are your New Year's resolutions? Well, I'm going to change my diet and start eating healthier food. Really? Yep, I'm going to start eating less meat and more vegetables. Six. I'm getting a little fat in the stomach. Yeah, I noticed. Hey, come on. Anyway, I'm going to do something about it. Are you taking up jogging? No, but I'm going to start doing sit-ups every morning starting January first. Just like this. Watch. <clears throat> One, two. <gasps> Page thirty-nine, three. Let's listen. Task one. People are comparing different kinds of exercise. Which kind of exercise does each person prefer now? Listen and check the correct answer. One. I used to lift weights, but I didn't really enjoy it. So that's when I started swimming. Now I do it about twice a week. It's much more fun. I go to a nice pool near my office. It's never too crowded, which is great. There are friendly people who go there, so it's a good place to meet people. Two. I go out every morning. It's a great way to start the day. It's more interesting than exercising at home like I used to. That was really boring. I go to a beach near my house. It's lovely in the early morning. There's hardly anyone there, and you can listen to the ocean as you do it. Three. I used to play both tennis and volleyball, but I play mainly volleyball now. I think it's a lot more fun. I thought tennis was very tiring. It was also difficult to find a partner, and the courts were always crowded too. With volleyball. I have no trouble finding somewhere to play. Four. I used to take long walks every day, but it got boring. I wanted something more exciting, so that's when I took up rollerblading. It's really fun, but it's not as easy as it looks. It took me a long time to learn how to do it. I fell a lot at the beginning. The great thing is you can do it almost anywhere. 
My friends think I'm kind of strange because none of them do it, but I love it. Five. I finally bought myself a bicycle. It's a great way to keep fit. I think it's better than going to a health club. It took me a long time to learn to ride it in traffic. I nearly fell off a couple of times. I don't often go on busy streets because that can be dangerous, but there are plenty of places where I can ride near where I live. I use it to get to work sometimes, but only if the weather is nice. Six. I used to go to aerobics class, but I found it pretty silly, all that jumping around. So that's when I decided to take golf lessons. They can be pretty expensive because you have to buy all your equipment, and club fees are high. People think it's very easy, but it's not. It's also good exercise because you have to walk a lot. Page thirty-nine, three. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Circle the reason each person likes the kind of exercise he or she does now. Page forty, four. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking about exercise. Listen and check the activities they do or do not do now. One, Brandon. I was a big athlete in high school. All I did was swimming, swimming, and more swimming. But I work now, and I never go swimming. I know that I should exercise more, but I'm just too lazy. Jogging, that's way too much work, and it really makes my knees hurt. A lot of people I know are into bicycling, but I don't have a bike. I guess there's tennis, though. My wife loves it. And wants to teach me how to play. I'd like to play. I think. Two, Alicia. After my husband got sick last year, the doctor told him to lose twenty kilos. Since then, I've been trying to help him lose the weight by exercising with him. There isn't much we can do together, though. We sometimes jog in the morning, but when he works late, he doesn't want to wake up early. Our community center has an aerobics class in the evening, but he won't go. He says it's just for women, so neither of us does that. He wanted to try weightlifting, but the doctor said it was too dangerous. So now I'm thinking about getting him golf lessons for both of us. Actually, the walking might be good exercise, and it might even be a little romantic too. Three, Ian. I may be retired, but I stay very active. I play tennis with my daughters every weekend, and I go golfing every day. I used to lift weights too, and I'm talking about heavy weights. But I had to stop recently because I had to have an operation on my back. Now I'm really worried that I'll have to stop playing tennis and golf too. I don't really have a lot of hobbies or interests besides sports, so. I really need to keep doing them. The doctor said swimming would help my back improve, so maybe I'll try that. Four, Crystal. I guess I really need to get some exercise outside in nature. Right now, I exercise all the time, but it's always indoors. I lift weights at an indoor gym, and I go swimming every weekend at an indoor pool. I even go jogging on an indoor track. I was watching TV last night when a bicycling competition came on. Now I'm totally excited about bicycle racing. I would really love to try it. Page forty, four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. What sport does each person want to try? Write the correct letter. Unit Eleven, Invitations, Page Forty Two, Two. Let's listen. What is each invitation for? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. A bunch of us are going to get something to eat after class. How about coming with us? Two. I think it'll be too cold to go to the beach this weekend. 
How about going to the health club instead? It's got a great indoor pool. Three. Do you have any plans for Sunday? Why don't we check the newspaper and see what's playing at the movies? Four. Do you want to go somewhere after class? Why don't we try that new coffee shop near school? Five. Would you like to come to my place for dinner on Friday night? I've invited a few friends over. Six. Why don't we rent a video tomorrow night? There are some great new movies I'd like to see. Page 43. Three. Let's listen. Task 1. Does each person accept or refuse the invitation? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Listen, I've got some tickets for a great rock concert on Sunday night. Are you free, Mary? Sunday night? Yeah, I'm free. What kind of concert did you say it is? A rock concert. Oh, that's what I thought you said. Actually, I don't really like rock music. Thanks, anyway. Some other time, maybe. Oh, sure. Two. There's a great new Mexican restaurant downtown. Would you like to try it, Jim? We could go there for dinner on Friday night. That sounds great. I love Mexican food. Maybe after dinner we could go dancing. Yeah. I haven't gone dancing in a long time. Three. Are you doing anything tonight, Susie? How about seeing a movie? A movie? I'd like to, but I'm really tired. Are you sure? There's a new French movie I'm dying to see. I really think I'd better stay home tonight. I've been out nearly every night this week. Maybe some other time? Sure. Four. I'm going to the park with some friends for a barbecue this weekend. That sounds fun. Would you like to come with us, Ben? We're going on Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon? I'd love to. Oh, wait. I just remembered I'm going to a baseball game with my dad. He got the tickets a month ago. That sounds cool, too. Enjoy the game. Five. Do you like ice skating, Jenny? I've never tried it. Then you have to try it. How about Thursday or Friday night? Thursday night is no good for me. I have a Spanish class. Is Friday night okay? Yes, it's fine. Terrific. You'll love it. Then, after we finish, we can get something to eat downtown. Okay. Thanks. Six. Would you like to see a tennis match with me on Sunday afternoon, Stephen? Sunday? What am I doing on Sunday afternoon? That should be okay. I don't think I have any plans. Great. And maybe after the match we could see a movie? Sounds good. Page 43. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 44. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to the invitations on Judy's voicemail. Are the statements true or false? Check the correct answer. 1. Judy, this is David. How are things? I'm calling to see if you want to come over to my place on Friday night. Some friends from school are coming over to watch the soccer game on TV. They'll probably bring pizza to eat while we watch. We plan to meet at my place around 7 o'clock. Anyway, if you can come, please give me a call. Bye. 2. Hi, Judy. This is Maria. Sorry I missed you. I wondered if you're free for lunch on Saturday. It's Pam's birthday, and some of us are planning a surprise party for her. We're going to meet at that Japanese restaurant in the mall at 1 p.m. If you can join us, please let me know as soon as you can. Oh, we're buying her a big bunch of flowers, so you don't have to buy anything for her. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye. 3. Hello, Judy. This is your Aunt Betty. How's my favorite niece? Listen, honey, I have an extra ticket for the opera on Friday night. I wondered if you'd like to go with me. 
It's a wonderful Australian singer, a soprano. Doesn't that sound great? I know how you love opera. We could have dinner together before the concert if you like. Anyway, I'll call you tonight to see if you're interested in going. Bye bye. Four. Hi, Judy. This is Paul. Some of us are going bowling on Sunday afternoon, and we wondered if you'd like to join us. We'll meet at around 3 p.m. at the Holiday Bowling Lanes. You know, the one we usually go to. We're going to have dinner somewhere afterward, and then see a movie too. How does that sound? Give me a call if you want to join us. Bye. Page 44. Four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Should Judy call back, or will the person call her again? Circle the correct answer. <music> Unit twelve. Small talk. Page forty six. Two. Let's listen. Where is each conversation taking place? Listen and number the pictures. One. So, what are you taking this semester? Well, I'm taking a business class. Me too. Whose class are you in? Professor Jones's. Oh, so am I. How do you like the class so far? I really like it. Two. Are you enjoying the party? Yes, I am. Can I get you something to drink? Not right now, thanks. Three. Do you want to share a taxi into town? Oh, sure. Are you here on vacation? No business. I'm in computers. Oh, me too. I work for IBM. Really? I work for Apple. Oh. Four. How do you like this weather? Oh, the weather's great. <laughs> so when did you get here? Arrived yesterday. And how long are you staying? For a week. Well,、uh, want to go for a swim? Sure. You first. Five. Have you been here before? No. This is my first time. I hope they do something nice with my hair. Oh, I'm sure they will. I always have my hair done here. Ask for Randy. He's very good. Which one is he? The tall guy over there. Six. How do you like it here?、Mm, it's very nice. My room is really comfortable. So is mine. Are you traveling with friends? No, actually, I, I'm traveling alone. Me too. Say, would you like to go to the coffee shop for a cup of coffee? Sure. Page forty-seven, three. Let's listen. Task one. People are chatting at a party. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. One. Hello, I'm Patricia. Hi, my name's Anne. Nice to meet you. Do you know a lot of people here? Actually, I only know Linda here. She's the one who invited me. I see. Are you going to school here? Yeah, I just arrived. I'm going to take a drama course. I'll be here for six months. Fantastic. Sounds interesting. Are you staying in a dormitory? No, I have a couple of friends here, so we've rented an apartment. By the way, let me give you my telephone number. Maybe we can get together sometime. Thanks. We should have coffee sometime. Two. Hi, I'm Tony. Hello, I'm David. Great party, isn't it? Yes, terrific. Do you know a lot of people here? Yeah, I know most of them. Are you studying here? No, I'm here for a convention. What kind of convention? It's a computer convention. Most of these people are also attending it. I see. Are you all staying in town? Yeah, we're all staying at the convention center hotel downtown. So how long will you be here? We finish in two days. Then I head back to Chicago. Well, enjoy the rest of your visit. Thanks. Nice talking to you. Three. Hello. I don't think we've met. I'm Karen. Hi. I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. You too. Are you new in town? Yes, I am. 
I'm afraid I don't know many people here. Oh, I'll take you around and introduce you to a few people then. Thanks. Are you on vacation here? Yes. My cousin lives here. That's her over there. Susie Jacobs. I'm staying with her. Oh, I know her. She's a good friend of mine. Really? Yeah. So, will you be here long? About six weeks. Great. I'll tell you what. I'm having a few friends over next Sunday. Why don't you and Susie come over, too? I'd love to. Thanks. Four. Hi. My name's Jonathan. Hi. Jim's the name. Nice to meet you, Jim. Are you here with Teresa? Yeah. She's an old friend from college. I'm staying with her until I find my own place. She invited me along because I don't know many people in town. Great. You'll get to know everyone here soon. This is a very friendly crowd. That's good. So, did you just move here? Yes. I just started a new job here with a French language school. I speak French fluently. Is that right? I've been thinking of studying French. Oh. Well, let me give you my card. Call me sometime next week to set up an appointment. Great. Thanks. Well, in the meantime, enjoy the party. You too. Page 47. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Do you think the people will meet again? Circle the correct answer. Page 48. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their vacations. Listen and number the topics from 1 to 4 in the order they are mentioned. 1. Los Angeles is really beautiful. Everyone is so healthy and perfect-looking, but kind of unfriendly. This afternoon I was parking my car at the beach when this man in a pickup truck started yelling at me. He said it was his parking space, at a public parking lot. We had to find another parking space, which wasn't easy, and it really scared my kids. When we finally got to the beach, it was just beautiful. We watched one of those great, slow California sunsets, then we had a delicious seafood dinner. After that, we drove back to our hotel and ordered dessert in our room, apple pie and vanilla ice cream. The hotel staff was helpful, and they were very nice to my kids. I really appreciated that. 2. When my friends and I arrived in Paris last week, we took this awful taxi from the airport to the hotel. We got in an accident, but no one was hurt. When we finally got to the hotel, the room was really small and dirty, and there was only one bed for three people, so we asked them to give us a different room. For dinner, we went to this little restaurant across the street. I had the most delicious onion soup. The waiters were really friendly and helpful. They helped translate the menu for us and suggested some really delicious dishes. 3. The buses in India are horrible. Today it took us 12 hours to go only 100 kilometers. The seats were really small and it was much too crowded. The bus broke down and we had to wait by the side of the road for a few hours. After an hour or so, the people on the bus started singing songs, you know, to pass the time, and some of them were even dancing. They asked me a lot of questions about my family back home, and that felt good. Then some kids came by selling these delicious melons and crispy fried snacks. I'd never tasted anything so spicy. I'm really looking forward to sleeping in my hotel room tonight. The bed is really soft and comfortable, and you can see the mountains from the window. 4. I arrived here in Bangkok a couple of days ago. At first, I was sure I was going to have a horrible vacation because I had this awful toothache. Luckily, the man at the tourist office was really helpful. He found a great English-speaking dentist for me. The people have all been really friendly like that. I got my tooth fixed this morning, and then I went sightseeing and saw all of the wonderful old temples in the city. I took so many beautiful pictures. And the shopping! I found a lot of great designer clothes for cheap prices. The only problem is the buses. They aren't air-conditioned. 
Tomorrow, I'm taking taxis everywhere. Page 48. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. For each topic, does the person have a positive or negative opinion? Check the correct answer. Unit 13. Hobbies and Pastimes. Page 50. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about hobbies and pastimes. Listen and number the pictures. 1. I love to eat out. I eat at restaurants most of the time. It's expensive, but I don't care. 2. I read almost everything I can. Books, magazines, newspapers. I go to the public library about twice a week. 3. I never used to like stamp collecting, but now I think it's great. I've got two huge stamp albums. Hey, why don't you come and see my collection sometime? 4. My wife says I should take up gardening. We have a big garden, and she loves working in it. But the truth is, it bores me. 5. Well, everyone in my family loves sports. Everyone, that is, except me. My family's out playing baseball and stuff all the time, but I think most sports are pretty boring. I don't like chasing balls around a field, and I couldn't hit a ball if I had to. 6. My friends think I'm really boring because I'm always listening to music. I go to concerts all the time. I love Mozart and all that classical stuff. Page 51. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Which activity does each person enjoy doing now? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Zachary. I used to play the piano a lot when I was younger, but I don't play much anymore. Now I enjoy playing in a band. We call ourselves The Bandits. We've been practicing for a few months in my garage, and pretty soon we're going to start playing at parties. Maybe we'll become famous. We all have a great time. I like doing things with other people. That's what I like best about it. 2. Erica. I've always collected things, even when I was young. I used to collect everything. Comic books, baseball cards, you name it. But they're all packed away in boxes now. Now my favorite pastime is gardening. I spend all weekend outside with my flowers. I love seeing them change. That's what I like best about it, I guess. They're these little seeds at first, and then one day they're big, beautiful flowers. 3. Bradley When I was a teenager, all I did was sit around playing video games. But I can't stand them anymore. I work in an office now, so I sit in front of a boring computer screen all day. Now I like being outdoors. I belong to a hiking group, and we go someplace different every weekend. I keep fit and healthy this way. The best thing is that I can make some really great friends. 4. Evan I like collecting things. I collected baseball cards when I was a kid, but I don't anymore. These days, baseball card collectors are only interested in the money. I wanted to collect things that are really beautiful, so that's why I started collecting stamps. Some of the stamps I have are really, really beautiful. I think they're like paintings. What I like best is looking at my collection. It's like walking through a tiny museum full of wonderful paintings. 5. Danielle I always loved reading as a kid, so for a long time I wanted to write children's books. I tried to do it for a few years after college, but it was really hard to come up with good stories. I guess I'm not very good with words. Now I'm happy just painting. I've won a few prizes, too, in art competitions for my watercolors and oils. The pictures are important to me, though, not the prizes. What I enjoy most is creating pictures.
It makes me so happy. 6. Marcus Well, I'm retired now, and I have a lot of free time. I worked for the same company for over 30 years, mostly in the same little office. I worked long hours, and when I came home from work, I was too tired to do anything but read the newspaper. Now it's different. I spend almost all my free time outdoors playing golf. I guess what I love best is looking at the beautiful blue sky. Page 51. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What does each speaker like best about his or her current hobby or pastime? Write the correct letter. Page 52. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their interests. Listen and check two suitable hobbies for each person. 1. Scott. A few months ago, I moved to this cute little house out in the country. Before I moved, all I did was sit in coffee shops and read or surf the Internet. Boring! Now I want to spend all my free time outside, enjoying nature. The only problem is, I'm not in very good shape, so I don't like doing any sports or anything that involves a lot of exercise. I tried hiking once, but I fell down a hill and hurt my leg. Don't get me wrong, I love the outdoors, but what I really want is something I can do quietly in nature. 2. Christine I live in a big city, so I love being around lots of people. My brother is completely the opposite. Last weekend, he took me to the country to go bird watching. I was so bored the whole time. I like talking to people and doing creative things. I'd just love to get all my friends together at my apartment in the city and do something. We could have a dinner party, maybe. Or we could bring over some guitars and drums and stuff like that and sing and dance. 3. Joe Exercise is really important to me. I like doing things where I keep active, things that are good for your health. My roommate isn't like that at all, though. He wakes up and surfs the Internet for hours. Then he plays his guitar in his room all afternoon. Yuck! I just hate sitting around indoors. I especially hate surfing the Internet. I want to meet other people. I also want to get out and visit new places, like out in the country, where you can see some real nature. 4. Amy I'm not so young anymore, so I don't really like going to parties or working out at the gym all the time. I don't like hiking around in nature, either. I like to do things that develop my mind or things that teach me about other countries and places. What I really love is history. To me, a good history book is a lot more exciting than a fancy dinner party or some concert or a big baseball game. And now there's a lot of great historical information on the Internet, too. I'm not one of those old ladies who sits at home and collects stamps. For me, learning something new is a real adventure. Page 52 4 Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What is one activity each person likes doing? Circle the correct answer. <music> Unit 14. Shopping Problems. Page 54. 2. Let's listen. Which item did each person receive? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hey, they said this camcorder had a case. But look, there's no case here. 2. Look at this. I asked for a small T-shirt, and they gave me an extra large sweatshirt. 3. Hey, look what happened. I ordered these glasses through the mail, and one of them came broken. 4. Hey, look. 
All the buttons are missing from my new shirt. And look at this stain. Page 55. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Customers are describing a problem. Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Can I exchange this shirt, please? What's the problem? I asked for a size 44, but this is a size 34. Let me see if I can find one in the right size. Just a moment. I'm sorry, sir. We are completely out of your size. Could you come back next week? We'll have some more in then. Um, okay. 2. I'd like to exchange these shoes, please. Oh, are they the wrong size? No, I just bought these and I noticed that the heels are coming off. Look. I see what you mean. Do you have your receipt? Let me see. Oh, it looks like I forgot it. Does it matter? Yes. Could you bring us your receipt? 3. Excuse me, I bought this briefcase here a few months ago. Look, here's my receipt. Yes? The problem is, I can't get the lock to work. Strange. Let's have a look. You were right. No problem. It comes with a two-year guarantee, so we'll repair it for you. But could you leave the briefcase with us for a few days? Sure. No problem. 4. Excuse me. I'd like to exchange this watch. I just bought it a few weeks ago, but look at this. What seems to be the problem? It's the band. It's already broken. Oh, that's not good. Let me see if I can get you another one. I'm sorry. We are completely sold out of that style. I can order one for you, or do you want to exchange it for a different watch? Well, I really like this style. Tell you what. Call me here tomorrow. By then, I'll know when I can get you a new one. Okay, thanks. I'll call you tomorrow. 5. Excuse me. I'd like to return this shirt. Is there a problem with it? Yes. See the sleeves? Believe it or not, this used to be a long-sleeved shirt. Really? Yes. I washed it once, and look at the sleeves. Now they're much too short. I see what you mean. I'll get you another one. Could you just fill out this form for me, please? Oh, sure. And here's my receipt. 6. There's something wrong with this camera I bought here a few months ago. What's the problem with it? The back doesn't shut properly. See? It pops open when you try to shut it. That's strange. I've never seen that problem before. We'll certainly repair it for you at no charge, but I do need one thing. Could you show me the guarantee that came with the camera? Yes. Here it is. Thanks. Page 55. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 56. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about shopping. Listen and circle the correct information about each person. 1. I went to the summer sale at the department store the other day. There were hundreds of people there. People were lined up in front of the main door before it opened. As soon as the doors opened, everyone rushed in. There were some great bargains there, but it was impossible to find what I wanted because of the crowds. I really wanted to buy a few things, but after a while I got fed up and left without buying anything. Big crowds drive me crazy. Next time, I won't go shopping during a big sale. 2. I bought lots of cheap clothes when I was on vacation last summer. Things were about half the price of the same things here. The clothes looked well-made, so I spent a lot of money. But I've had problems with almost everything I bought. Some things fell apart, some shrank as soon as I washed them, and the colors have faded on the rest. Next time, I'll save my money and wait for the sales at home. 3. I needed a new camera last month, 
so I bought one from a store in the mall. I paid $148 for it, and it's a really good camera. It takes beautiful pictures. A few days ago, though, I found exactly the same camera in a store downtown for only $95. I was really annoyed, but I guess there's nothing much I can do about it. Next time I will spend more time comparing prices before I buy something. 4. Some friends and I were on vacation in China last summer. I went shopping one day and got some really fabulous things. I got nice running shoes and tennis clothes. I thought the prices were reasonable, and I hate bargaining, so I just paid the price they asked. The next day, one of my friends went back to the same store and decided to bargain. She got things for much cheaper prices than I paid. Next time I go traveling, I'll be sure to bargain when I buy something. Page 56. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. <music> Unit 15. Hotel Services. Page 58. 2. Let's listen. People are making calls from their hotel rooms. Who is each person calling? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hello. I'd like to have some shirts pressed. Yes. How soon will you need them? Can I get them by 6 o'clock tonight? Yes, sir. Just leave them in your room and I'll send someone to get them. 2. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a long-distance call to Japan. You can make the call yourself. Just dial 01181, the area code, and the number. Thanks. 3. I'd like to order a large pot of coffee, please. Yes. Uh, for how many people? Two. Anything to eat? No, thanks. That's all. 4. Can you send someone to my room to help with my bags, please? Yes. How many bags do you have? Three. Just leave them in the room, and I'll send someone to bring them down to the lobby for you. Five. Has anyone left a package for me? Yes. We do have a large envelope for you at the front desk. Do you want me to send it up to your room? It's okay. I'll come down for it, thanks. Six. Can I help you? Yes. Could you send up a couple of extra towels and another blanket? Certainly. I'll send them up right away. Page 59. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking to a hotel receptionist. What does each person want to do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, please. Could you check if there are any messages for me, please? I'm in room 219. Sure. Let me see. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't look like there are any messages yet. Oh, no. That's really too bad. I was expecting an important message from my boss. I'm sorry. If any messages do come in, I'll let you know right away. Thanks. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to mail these letters. Do you happen to know where the nearest post office is? Or a mailbox? Actually, you can just leave them here and we'll mail them for you. Great. Thanks a lot. 2. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to move to a different room if possible. Of course. Is there something wrong with your room, ma'am? Yes. It faces the street, so it's pretty noisy. I see. Let me check. Yes, I can move you to a room on the opposite side. That should be much quieter. Great. And is it a non-smoking room? Let me check on that. I'm sorry, it's not. All the non-smoking rooms are occupied at the moment. That's too bad. I hate the smell of smoke. But at least it will be quieter. Three. Can I help you, sir? Yes. I need a taxi to the airport tomorrow morning. No problem. I can arrange that for you right now. What time is your flight? I think it's around 9.30, so can the taxi come around 8 o'clock? 
Actually, you'll probably want the taxi to pick you up around 6.30. 6.30? Are you sure? Well, the airport is pretty far from here, as you know, and it's been taking people a really long time to get through customs and immigration recently. I guess you're right. Can you call me before the taxi comes tomorrow morning? I need about an hour to wake up and get ready. No problem. I'll schedule a wake-up call for 5.30. Four. Good evening, ma'am. Can I help you? Hi. Can I still get room service? I've been driving all night and I'm hungry. Sure. Here's a menu. I believe they're open for another 15 minutes. Hmm. Is there any way to get the lasagna without meat? Actually, I'm sorry. They can't do that. But I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. Are you sure they can't help me? I really wish they could. Maybe you should try the spaghetti. It's very tasty, and the sauce doesn't have any meat. Hey, good idea. I'll have that. They can bring it up to room 147. Page 59. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 60. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about the hotels they are staying in. Listen and check their opinions about each hotel. 1. My friends and I flew down here to the beach for spring vacation. Of course, we're really excited about swimming and partying and meeting other college students. Our hotel is full of families and little kids, though. The restaurants are terrible, really crowded with kids and noisy, and they're really slow, too. The hotel should have one restaurant that's just for adults, I think. Another problem is the service. The staff is too busy running activities for the little kids, so sometimes they don't bring us new towels or clean the room. One good thing is the room. It's really big and has a great view of the beach. The price is great, too. I guess most college students don't want to stay here, so the room rates are low. 2. I travel a lot for my job. Too much, I think. Sometimes I'm away from home for three weeks or more. It can be pretty lonely. That's why I'm so happy about the hotel where I'm staying now. First of all, the restaurant serves light, healthy food that gives me a lot of energy for my work. Then there's the staff. They're very friendly to me. My only complaint is with the room. The bed is very hard. They should buy a softer mattress. Oh, and the rates are expensive, but the company pays for it, so I don't mind. 3. Our trip to the lake has been pretty disappointing so far. It takes two days to drive there, so of course we have to stay in a hotel for one night on the way. My husband forgot to make a reservation, though. We found a hotel, but the restaurant is just a bar that serves food. So the kids can't eat there because they're too young. When I complained about it to the hotel manager, he just laughed at me. They should get a new manager. The room is dirty and tiny. It's really bad. The kids have to share a bed, and they're unhappy about that. Of course, the rates are very cheap, so that's good. We'll have to make sure to make reservations from now on. 4. My flight was delayed by a big snowstorm, so I had to stay overnight in this hotel. My only complaint is the restaurants. There are three of them, and they are all way too expensive for me, because the airline isn't paying for my dinner. They should have at least one cheap, casual restaurant. The staff is so friendly, though. Whenever I call the front desk to ask for something, they always remember my name, and they work so quickly. The room is huge, with a giant bathroom that is bigger than my whole apartment. It's got everything, a refrigerator, a hot tub, a microwave, even a big screen TV with a VCR. The rates are very expensive. I am so glad that the airline is paying for the room. Page 60. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter.
Unit 16. Movies. Page 62. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about movies. What kind of movie does each person describe? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. So, how was the movie? Oh, not bad. What was it about? It's about a policeman who goes crazy and starts chasing people. Lots of excitement, car chases, things like that. You'd like it. 2. Did you enjoy the movie? Yeah, it was terrific. It really made me laugh. So what's the story about? It's about this crazy guy who gets lost on the freeway. He gets off at the wrong exit and then everything starts to go wrong. 3. What movie did you see? I saw a movie called Nightlife. What's it about? It's about these things that come out of the ground at night and start killing people. Sounds pretty frightening. <laughs> yeah, it is. 4. What was the movie like on Saturday? Great. I really enjoyed it. Terrific special effects and an interesting story. What's it about? It's about a scientific experiment. They give this family some special drugs, and they go to sleep for a hundred years. It's all about what happens when they wake up and how the world has changed. 5. So tell me about the movie. Oh, it's one of those cowboy stories. The usual thing. A cowboy rides into town on his horse, cleans up the town, and rides out with the girl. Sounds like quite a story. Yeah, really. 6. Did you enjoy the movie? Yeah, it was really exciting. It's about a drug gang that takes over a hotel. So along comes this tough guy and kills them off. Lots of action. I enjoyed it. Page 63. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are calling for information about movies. What type of movie is it? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. Thank you for calling Century Cinemas. Our movie today in Cinema 1 is Die Harder, The Final Conflict. It's an action-packed movie with lots of car chases. Movie times are 2.30, 4.45, 7.30, and 10 o'clock. Two. In Cinema 2 today, we are showing the comedy Party Animal. This hilarious film is full of big stars. The movie is showing at 1.30, 4.30, 6.15, and 9 o'clock. 3. Our movie in Cinema 3 today is called Dreams. This is a romance about a doctor and her patient. Show times are 1 o'clock, 3.15, 6.30 and 9.30. 4. You have reached the recorded message for Cinema 4. Today's movie is Cowboys Run. It is set in Mexico. The cowboys fight bankers who want to take their land. Showtimes are noon, 3.30, 5.30, and 8 o'clock. 5. Cinema 5's movie for today, Space Children, is an exciting story of five people who are kidnapped by aliens. It is not suitable for children under 13. Showtimes are 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 9.15. 6. Today's movie in Cinema 6 is Monster Party. Two young men are bitten by dogs, and when the moon comes out, they turn into dogs and kill people. Children under 17 will not be admitted without an adult. Showtimes are 10 o'clock, 1.45, 4.15, and 6.45. Page 63. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Write the showtimes. Page 64. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about movies. What did they like or not like about each movie? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. I went to a really dumb movie last night. 
You should save yourself some money and find something else to do. It's supposed to be a comedy, but it isn't very funny at all. The story is really boring. It's all about some guys who were planning a bank robbery, and everything goes wrong. Some of the actors were really big stars, but the acting was just terrible. They seemed bored, and so was I. The ending was supposed to be this big surprise, but everyone in the theater knew it was coming. I guess the only good part was the music. The opening song had a great beat, and the rest of the soundtrack wasn't bad. Two. I saw that new action movie this weekend. The story was much better than I expected. The main character has to go way underground, under the subway stations, to find this monster. The main character is that really handsome star, Matt Castle. He looked fantastic. It's worth the price of a ticket just to see him on the big screen, smiling and fighting, and wearing these really great suits. The ending was a bit stupid, and the music was disappointing. But I was still really into the story. If you like action movies or good-looking movie stars, you should go out and see it right away. Three. I saw an excellent movie last night. It was a totally different kind of story from a typical war movie. It was exciting and intelligent. The star was that actor who just won a big award. He's always good, but he's unbelievably good in this one. And the actress who plays opposite him is wonderful. The ending is really sad, but it also made me think a lot about really deep and important stuff. I like it when movies do that to me. You should really try to see it. I don't usually like war movies, but this one is really exciting. It has a terrific soundtrack. The songs made the battle scenes really exciting. Four. Have you seen that new animated movie that's showing now? You should see it. The story is about a war between humans and giant insects. I know it sounds kind of silly, but the story really works well. All the animation was done with computers, and they used the voices of some really famous actors. That really made the movie enjoyable. I won't say who wins in the end, but I will tell you that it's a big surprise. I left the theater very happy. I guess they could have chosen better music, though. I don't think rap music is good for that kind of movie. Page sixty-four, four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. Does each person recommend the movie or not? Check the correct answer. This is the end of Compact Disc Two. <music> Developing Tactics for Listening, Second Edition, by Jack C. Richards, published in copyright Oxford University Press, two thousand three. Compact Disc Three, Unit Seventeen, Fears, Page Sixty-Six, Two. Let's listen. What is happening in these pictures? Listen and number the pictures. One. Are you sure you don't want me to drive? Look at the traffic. Hey, don't worry. I'm fine. Whoops! Careful! Not so fast. Don't worry. I'm fine. Now, what's this thing again? The brake. I said brake. <laughs> oh yeah. Two. I think there's someone in the house. Are you sure? Yes. The lights were off when we left. That's funny. Oh, I'm sure it's okay. Be careful. Three. Look over there in the garden. Where? There. Oh, do something quick! Oh, I'm so frightened of those things.、Oh, it's okay. I've got it. Are you really frightened of this? It's the garden hose. Four. Quick, look in the kitchen. Where? There, behind the door. Oh, I hate those things. 
Can you do something? It's just a little mouse. Nothing to be afraid oh, of. Oh, I can't stand mice. Do something. Go get it, Fluffy. Five. I'm sure I saw a big black spider under the bed. A spider? Are you sure? Let me check. Did you get it? Ah, uh, yes, here it is. The missing button from my coat. I've been looking for it for days. Six. Listen, I can hear someone downstairs. Are you sure? Yes, listen to that noise. Let me check. Be careful. Don't worry, everything is all right. We forgot to turn off the TV. Page 67. Three. Let's listen. Task one. People are describing fears. Has each speaker's fear decreased over the years? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. The first time I got on an airplane, I was terrified. I just couldn't understand how a big, heavy thing like a plane could stay up in the air. After we were in the air for a while, I spoke to the man next to me. He was an airplane engineer and explained how airplanes stay in the air. That really helped because I understand how planes work. I was still a little nervous on the next few flights, but now I really love flying. 2. I was afraid of snakes when I was a kid. I remember going to the zoo and seeing them there, and I thought they were kind of cute. But once, when I was out hiking, I nearly stepped on one and it tried to bite me. It was really ugly, and I'm sure it was poisonous. Since then, I've been pretty terrified of them. I could never touch one now. 3. Some people hate spiders. They think they're really creepy. I guess I felt like that when I was a kid. I used to scream if I saw a spider on the wall. My friend had a pet spider, and I couldn't go near it. Then, when I went to college, we had a spider collection in our biology lab. When we studied them, I decided they were interesting and intelligent, too. I kind of like them now. 4. I was always afraid of the water as a kid. I would never go into the pool or swim at the beach. I was sure I would drown. Then I took swimming lessons in high school. Once I learned how to swim, I felt different. Now I love the water, and especially the beach. I feel totally safe because now I know how to take care of myself in the water. 5. I don't really like driving on the freeway. I guess it's because the traffic moves so fast. I didn't used to be so nervous. I used to travel all over using the freeways. But one day... I was in a car accident, and I lost all my confidence. So nowadays, I only use the freeway when it's really necessary. 6. I was so afraid of animals when I was younger. All kinds of animals. Dogs, cats, even horses. I didn't like the way they felt when I touched them, and I was sure they were going to bite me. I even hated going to the zoo. That all changed when I turned 13 and my mom gave me a puppy for my birthday. He was so cute and friendly that I realized an animal can really be your best friend. Page 67. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Circle the correct statement. Page 68. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their fears. Is each statement true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. When I was a kid, I got stuck in an elevator when the electricity went out, and since then I've always been afraid of elevators. I was all alone, and there was no way to get out of the elevator. I hated that feeling. Now I almost never use elevators. I take the stairs instead. If I have to take an elevator, for example, if I'm in a really tall building, I make sure there's someone else in the elevator with me. The only problem is, sometimes I have to wait a long time until another person comes along.
Two. I don't like swimming in the ocean because the waves are so dangerous. They always knock me over. I also hate the way that seaweed touches me when I swim in the ocean. I always think it's some animal that's going to bite me. You know, like a shark or a jellyfish. That's why I only swim in a swimming pool. The only problem is that the pool in my neighborhood is always crowded. Three. Dogs are the only animals I'm really afraid of. But not all dogs, just big dogs. I don't mind cats and birds because they don't usually bite you. But dogs? That's a different story. I'm sure it's because of the time a huge dog chased me when I was a kid. It only bit me once, but I've been really scared of dogs ever since. I never visit anyone if they have a big dog in the house. That's a real problem because a lot of my friends have really big dogs, so they always have to come to my house. Four. I don't know why, but I'm really afraid of heights. I work in a tall building, and I can't even stand to look out my office window. Right away, I get this feeling like I'm suddenly going to fall. I'm really afraid. Of course, airplanes are the worst. I'm really nervous when I have to fly. The biggest problem is that there are some fun things I can't do with my kids. The other weekend, I took them to an amusement park. They were excited about going on the roller coasters, but I was too afraid to take them. My kids were really disappointed. I felt terrible about letting them down. Page 68. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What problem does the fear cause for each person? Circle the correct answer. Unit 18. Telephone Messages. Page 70. 2. Let's listen. Listen to the messages on Susie's voicemail. Complete the information about each call. 1. Hi, this is David. Remember me? We met at Bob's party. David, you know, the one with curly blonde hair and green eyes? Anyway, just calling to say hello. I'd love to see you again. Can you call me tonight? My number is 981-2146. I'll be home after 9. Thanks. Bye. 2. Hi, Susie. This is Mary calling. Sorry I missed you. I've got some really interesting news. It's about that cute blonde guy we met at the party. Why don't you call me? I'm at my mom's place. The number is 461-5793. Try to call me between 6 and 7 tonight. Bye. 3. Hello. I'm calling for Susan. My name's Peter Rogers. That's R-O-G-E-R-S from Morningstar Travel. I'm calling about your plane reservations. Please call me back at 391-6451. The best time to reach me is between 2 and 6 p.m. Thanks. 4. Hello, this is Linda Wong. Susie, could you call me on Saturday in the morning or afternoon? Do you have my number? In case you don't, it's 536-8775. Thanks. Bye. Page 71. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to these messages on Andre's voicemail. Circle the correct message. 1. Hello, this is Jim from Jim's Auto Repair. I'm calling about your car. I'm afraid it's not going to be ready until Friday. You can pick it up any time after 4. Uh, by the way, the car radio isn't working properly. Do you want us to fix that too? Please give us a call today to confirm. 2. Hi, this is your neighbor, Pat. ABC Express tried to deliver a package today, but you weren't home, so they left it with me. If you like, I'll bring it over tonight around 8 o'clock. Let me know if you'll be home. 3. Hi, Andre. This is Susan. I'd like to invite you to my birthday party on Saturday. I hope you can come. Bring a friend if you like. 
I'll be out till late tonight, so I'll be in touch tomorrow to give you more details. Bye! 4. This is Classic Records. The CD you ordered is in. Please come by and pick it up. Or if you like, we can send it to your office. Please let us know which you'd prefer. 5. Andre, hi. This is Kathy. Sorry I missed you. Thanks for your invitation to dinner tomorrow. It sounds lovely, but unfortunately I can't go. I have to work late. I'll try you tomorrow morning again before 9. Bye. 6. This is Dr. Costello's office. We're calling about your dental appointment. We cannot give you an appointment on Thursday, but we can give you one next Tuesday. Please give us a call to confirm. Page 71. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Does the caller want Andre to call back, or will the caller telephone again later? Check the correct answer. Page 72. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Daniel is listening to messages on his voicemail at work. Is each statement true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hi, this is Mary from Gold Coast Travel Agency. We've confirmed your flights for you, so come by and get your tickets any time today before 7 p.m. We've also booked you for three nights in the Paradise Inn right on the beach. The hotel has a shuttle bus that takes you from the airport to the hotel, and it should be waiting for you outside the baggage claim area. It's a complimentary shuttle, so you don't have to pay for the trip, although we recommend you tip the driver. A few dollars for each bag should be fine. All right? Call me at 878-1990 when you get this message. 2. Hey, this is Peter from the mailroom. There's a package here waiting for you, so when you get a chance, could you come down and pick it up? Actually, it's after 5 o'clock, so I guess we're closed now. I'll leave the package for you at the front desk with the receptionist. Just pick it up tomorrow from her. Oh, I almost forgot. That letter you were waiting for, the urgent one with the legal documents, I'm sorry to tell you it hasn't arrived yet. If you want to check again tomorrow morning, just give me a call at extension 44. 3. Hi, this is Frank. Hope you're not working too hard down there. Anyway, I was calling to ask you something. Would you like to have lunch with me? I want to take you to lunch at a great Italian restaurant near the harbor. They serve this really amazing vegetarian lasagna, and the service is really great, helpful and polite. Then, after lunch, I was thinking maybe we could take a boat trip on the river. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Anyway, give me a call on Thursday and let me know if you're free. My number is 754-9367. Four. Hi, this message is for Daniel. This is Mrs. Lee from Sunshine Dry Cleaners. The shirts you left with us on Friday are ready now. Please pick them up from the store any time on Monday. We're open until 9 p.m. In case you don't remember, we're on the corner of Elm Street and Highway 31, next to the movie theater. The total cost for the shirts is twenty-five ninety-nine, but we don't take credit cards, so you'll have to pay cash. If you have any questions, please call me. The number is 468-3114. Page 72. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What is each caller's telephone number? Write the answers. Unit 19. Touring a City. Page 74. 2. Let's listen. People are visiting a city. Where are they? Listen and number the pictures. 1. This is very unusual, isn't it? It's by one of our most famous artists. Nowadays, his works sell for over $25,000 each. 
but I really don't understand how anybody would want to spend that much money on something like this. Do you? 2. It's okay. She's quite friendly. She probably just wants something to eat. I'm sure she loves those peanuts in your bag. 3. This is the best way to see the city, isn't it? You can see everything in a day just by sitting and looking through the window. I always do this the first day I visit a new place. 4. Oh, you have to try some of these. They're really delicious. They're so sweet. They grow them very near here. 5. This is an interesting old place. It was built over 200 years ago. It used to be the home of a very rich man. He lived here by himself until he died. Then his family gave it to the city so that now everybody can enjoy it. 6. I have to get some of these. I see them in all the souvenir shops. They're really amazing. And they're cheap, too. I think I'll take some back as gifts for the people in my office. Page 75. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. Tour guides are describing some of the things people will see or do on a tour. Listen and circle the correct answers. 1. Good afternoon and welcome to Hollywood, California. I hope you all enjoy today's tour of the Houses of the Stars. Here we go. Now remember, you can buy photos of all the stars' houses when the tour is over, so please don't take any pictures during the tour, okay? Up on the left is the gorgeous mansion where Marilyn Monroe lived. After she got married, she left this house and moved to New York to live with her husband, a famous American baseball player named Joe DiMaggio. Now, just around the corner, you'll see a bright yellow house. Can you see it? Up on the hill? This is where James Dean lived. Finally, do you see that big iron gate on the right? Well, this is the entrance to Arnold Schwarzenegger's house. Unfortunately, you can't see the house from here, and we're not allowed to go inside the gate. 2. We're starting our tour by going up the tallest building in New York City the Empire State Building. You can see the whole city from the top of this building. While you're up there, don't forget to look at the Statue of Liberty through the telescope, since we don't visit it on this tour. Next, we'll take the bus uptown to beautiful Central Park. I know the bus doesn't sound very glamorous, but I promise you it's just as fast as taking a taxi. When we get to Central Park, we'll visit the petting zoo and have a picnic lunch. Finally, we'll walk to another famous place, Rockefeller Center. In the winter, people go there to ice skate on the famous outdoor rink. Of course, there won't be any ice on a hot summer day like today, but there's a very nice photograph of the rink for sale at the gift shop. 3. Welcome to Kathmandu, Nepal. As you all know, the country of Nepal has some really tall mountains, including the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. But here in the capital city, Kathmandu, the mountains are almost always covered by clouds. So I'm afraid we probably won't be seeing Mount Everest today. However, we are going to visit an exciting market in the center of town where you can buy all kinds of souvenirs including beautiful wool sweaters at really great prices. As we go through the market, though, please don't eat any of the food offered to you on the street. It looks delicious, but it might not be healthy. After visiting the market, we'll take a taxi to Pashupati Temple. This is one of the most important temples for the people of India and Nepal. Unfortunately, because we do not belong to their religion, we won't be able to go inside the temple. We can still look and touch the beautiful statues outside it, though. 4. Welcome to Chicago. 
We're standing in front of Wrigley Field, one of the most famous baseball stadiums in the United States. There's no game today, but there is one tomorrow, so you can buy tickets for it while we're here. Next, we're going to take a bus down to the Chicago Art Institute and spend a few hours looking at all the great paintings they have inside. Unfortunately, the museum's most famous painting, Summer in the Park, is not on display today. It's being cleaned. After the museum, we'll take a boat ride down the Chicago River. As we float down the river, you'll see the city's great skyscrapers go right over your head. Finally, we'll try some delicious Chicago-style pizza at a very famous restaurant. About 80 years ago, the legendary gangster Al Capone used to eat there. Page 75. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 76. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about the tours they took. What was good or bad about each tour? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. Have you taken a tour since you've been here? Yes, I went on one last weekend. What was it like? Well, we didn't see a lot. We mainly went to a lot of shops. I would have preferred to see more of the museums and famous buildings. I'm not really interested in shopping. And the bus they took us in was so old and slow. They should put it in the museum. Really? Did you say anything to the guide about it? Well, the problem was he didn't speak English very well. And he wasn't really very friendly. That's too bad. But we did have a nice lunch on the tour. And the whole tour was very cheap, so it wasn't all bad. But I don't think it was worth the time or money, even though it was cheap. 2. What was your city tour like? Well, we saw lots of interesting places on the tour. I was totally exhausted at the end of it, but I'm really glad I took it. You should try it. Did you go by bus? Yes, we had a nice, comfortable bus and a very helpful guide. You know how some guides talk all the time? This one didn't. He gave us just enough information, but not too much. Where did they take you for lunch? Oh, some dirty little place near the center of town. I didn't eat much because the food didn't look very good to me. That's too bad. Was the tour expensive? No, not at all. It was very reasonable. 3. Did you just get back from the tour? Yeah, it was really good. We visited all the places of interest. I'm glad we took it. Did you take a bus or a van? We took a bus. There were only 15 of us in it, so we had lots of room. It was a new, clean one, so it was pretty comfortable. Did you have a guide? Oh, yes. She was great. A young student, I think. She really knew her stuff. How was lunch? Awful. We just had some fast food along the way. How much was the tour? Well, it was pretty expensive. That was the only problem. One hundred dollars. I think they should have charged us about fifty. But anyway, I think it's definitely worth doing this tour. Four. So how was the tour? It was disappointing, actually. That's too bad. Yeah, we didn't get to see very much. It was too short. I wanted to see a lot more. Really? It wasn't very comfortable, either. The bus wasn't air-conditioned, so it got very hot and stuffy after a while. Uh-huh. Anyway, the guide was very helpful. He gave us some very interesting information and told a lot of jokes, so that was fun. And we had a really good lunch at a seafood restaurant. So was the tour worth it? Well, it was only $15, which is pretty reasonable. But if you want to take a tour, you should try a different tour company. Page 76. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Would each person recommend the tour? Check the correct answer. Unit 20. Airports. Page 78. 2. Let's listen. Where do these people want to go? Listen and check the correct picture. 1. 
Could you tell me where Departure Gate 5 is, please? Yes. Just take the escalator up to the next level and turn right. All the gates are upstairs. Thanks. 2. Excuse me. Where's the baggage claim area? It's downstairs. Take the escalator over there near the currency exchange. Go down to level 1. You can get your bags there. 3. Where are the restrooms, please? Just go straight. They're on the left, just across from the check-in counters. Thanks. Oh, dear, I think I'd better hurry. I need to change this baby right away. 4. Excuse me, how can I get a shuttle bus to the parking lot area for Terminal B? Buses and taxis are on the next level. Just go up those stairs over there and turn right. The shuttle comes every five minutes. Page 79. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. What are these people talking about? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Excuse me, this is Terminal A, isn't it? That's right. Can you tell me how I get from here to Terminal B? Yes. Go out the main entrance and turn right. Go over the footbridge to the baggage claim and wait there for the bus to Terminal B. There's one every five minutes. Do I need to buy a ticket? No, it's free. 2. Excuse me, do you know what time the flight from Tokyo arrives? You can check it on one of the monitors over there, but let me see if I can find it for you. Thanks. Hmm. It looks like it's delayed. Oh. So do you know what time it's arriving? They haven't announced the arrival time yet. So why don't you check again on the monitor in about 15 minutes? Okay. Thanks again. 3. Excuse me, how can I get to the Wilson Hotel from the airport? Check at the information counter on Level 1. They have maps there. Are you driving? Car rentals are on Level 1 as well. No, I'd like to get a bus if possible. I think there's a shuttle bus to the hotel in front of the airport. Oh, thanks. Do you know if the hotel is very far from here? Actually, it's really close. It's about a ten-minute ride. 4. Is it possible to buy souvenirs and gifts here? Yes. Go to Level 2. There's only one store, a duty-free shop, in the departure area. Do I need to go through customs and immigration first? Yes. You'll find the shop right in front of you after you go through. And do you know if they take credit cards, or do I need to use cash? Either is fine, but I'm not sure which cards they accept. Page 79. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 80. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about airports in different cities. Listen and check the correct answers. 1. What's the airport like in your town? Well, it's only a short distance from the center of town, so that's good. Yes. And it's pretty easy to get there. It only costs about $5 by taxi, or you can take a bus for most of the hotels. Is it a big airport? It's fairly big, but it's not a very pleasant place to spend time. How come? There isn't much to do there. They really should put in some stores and cafes. That would help. Luckily, you don't have to spend much time there because it usually only takes about five minutes to check in and go through customs and immigration. Two. What's the new airport like? It's fantastic. Much better than the old one. Is it far from town? Not really. It's only about 20 kilometers from the city, so it doesn't take long to get there. That's good. Yes. Now I can get out there on a fast train, which makes the trip very comfortable. How nice. What are the facilities like at the airport? It's almost like a big shopping mall. There are department stores, shops, a game center, and even a gym. It sounds great. Yeah, it is. The only trouble is, it's always very crowded, so it can take a while to get through check-in. They really need to add some more check-in counters to speed things up. 3. 
Is the new airport close to town? Yeah, really close. Does it take long to get to the airport? Well, you have to go by taxi or train, so it depends on how long it takes you to get a taxi. There are never enough taxis that will go to the airport, so you have to wait for a while. You can go by train, but it's not very easy to get on when you're carrying bags. There really should be a bus service into town. I agree. Yeah, but once you get there, it's okay. There are lots of good duty free stores, and the restaurants are pretty good. Try the Italian restaurant there. It's excellent. Does it take long to check in? No, check in usually goes pretty quickly. Four. What do you think of the airport? Well, it's far from downtown, and when the traffic is bad, it can take an hour and a half to get there. The city really needs to build a new airport that is closer to the city. Do you usually drive to the airport? No, I usually take the airport bus. The bus is pretty nice. It's clean and comfortable, and it's a lot cheaper than driving because you don't have to pay for parking. Is there much to do there while you wait for your flight? Sure. There are a couple of stores that sell souvenirs and magazines. There are also a couple of fast food places, and they're fine for coffee and a sandwich. How long does it take to check in? It doesn't take long. They're pretty efficient. Page 80. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. <music> Unit 21. Hotels. Page 82. 2. Let's listen. People are checking into a hotel. What do they have to do? Listen and circle the correct answers. 1. Hello, my name's Bill Sampson. I have a reservation. Just a moment, please, Mr. Sampson. Ah, uh, yes. Would you mind filling out this form, please? Thanks. Could I also see your passport? Here it is. Thank you. Will you be paying by credit card? Yes, I have it right here. Thank you. Two. Yes, I'd like to check in, please. Certainly. Do you have a reservation with us? Yes, the name's Peter Fox. That's funny. I can't find your name in the computer. Do you have your confirmation number? Yes, it's 6913. Oh, I see. Sorry, your name was spelled wrong. And could I see your passport, please? Here you are. Okay. How will you be paying for your room? I'll pay cash. In that case, I'll have to ask you for a deposit. That's fine. Three. I'd like to check in. My name's Pennington. Would you mind spelling your name for me so I can check it on the computer? Yes. It's P-E-N-N-I-N-G-T-O-N. Ah, uh, yes, here it is. Can I see some form of identification, please? Is a driver's license okay? Yes, that's fine. Thanks. Do I need to fill out a registration form? No, you are already registered. Just sign this card, please. Four. Yes, I'd like a room, please. Do you have a reservation? No, I didn't think I'd need one. I'm with City Travel. Oh, yes. Then can I see some form of identification? Sure. Here's my company ID, or would you prefer my passport? Your company ID is fine. Do you need my credit card? Yes, please. And would you fill out this registration card? Page 83. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. What kind of room does each guest want? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. Would you like a single or a double room? Oh, it's just for me, so a single is fine. Smoking or non-smoking? I'm a non-smoker. And the standard or deluxe room? The deluxe is an extra $20. I'll take the cheaper one, please. Sure. Just one thing. I'm a very light sleeper. Can I get a room away from the street? I find the traffic noise can be a problem. I'm sorry, ma'am. There aren't any more rooms available on that side. But you'll find the rooms are very quiet, even on the street side. Oh. 
Okay, then. Two. What kind of room would you like? Are there any deluxe rooms available? My wife and I want to give ourselves a treat. Yes, there are. So that'll be the double deluxe. And you'd like a non-smoking room? Definitely. Neither of us smokes. Okay. You're all set. You're in room 701. I'll have the bag sent up to your room right away. You'll find a complimentary fruit basket in the room. That's nice. Thanks. Oh, and we'll need a wake-up call at 7 a.m. Can you arrange that? Sure. No problem. Enjoy your stay. 3. What kind of room would you like? Oh, just something simple. The cheapest you have will be fine. So you don't want the deluxe, then? No, thanks. I can give you a standard single on the second floor. The lower floors are cheaper. Sounds perfect. But the only one I have available at that rate is a smoking room, I'm afraid. Oh, that's what I want. No problem, then. I need to iron some clothes. Is there an iron in the room? I'm afraid there isn't. Oh. Could you please send an iron up to my room? Sure. Four. Will that be a room for the two of you? Yes, that's right. Do you need a smoking room? No, we don't. And we'd like a room on a high floor, please. Let me see if we have one available. Yes, we do. Good. Would you like a deluxe room? It's a little more expensive, but it's much bigger. Oh, it doesn't matter about the size. The ordinary room will be fine. Certainly. And is it possible to get coffee and, say, some sandwiches at this hour? We're a little hungry. Sure. I can send some up to your room if you like. Thanks. That'd be great. Page 83. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What else does each guest request? Circle the correct answer. Page 84. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are discussing their rooms. Listen and check the correct information. 1. Is your room okay? Well, it's certainly big enough. That's a nice change. A lot of hotel rooms these days are very small. There's also plenty of space in the bathroom. That's good. I wish I had a better view, though. There's nothing to see except the cars in the parking garage. You could always change. I guess so, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, it's great to have a TV and a fax machine in the room. There's also a coffee maker, so I can make coffee whenever I want it. I was a little disappointed that there was nothing, not even a bottle of water, in the refrigerator when I checked in. But I called down and asked them to fill it up, and they did that right away. 2. Is your room big enough for the two of you? Well, it's kind of small. By the time we put our bags on the floor, there was hardly any room to move. But you should see the bathroom. It's almost as big as the bedroom. It's great, but isn't that strange? A bathroom bigger than the room. It is. What floor are you on? We're on the second floor, so we don't really see anything interesting. Just the street and the building next to us. Is there anything much in the room? Just the bed and a tiny refrigerator big enough for two bottles of water. The bed is as hard as a rock. I could hardly sleep last night. The manager said they would bring me a softer mattress later. Well, that's good. 3. Is your room at the hotel okay? It's not bad. It's a good-sized room, so that's nice. The bathroom is absolutely tiny, though, and it doesn't have an electrical outlet, so I can't use my hair dryer in there. That's inconvenient. At least I can look out at the beautiful park across the street. I like to be able to see trees from my window. That sounds lovely. Is there a lot in the room? No, not really. Just an old TV, but no refrigerator or anything else. It was really hot last night, and I couldn't sleep, so I spoke to the manager about it. She sent up an electric fan as soon as I called. That should help. Four. Is your room okay? It's pretty good, thanks. That's good. How big is the room? Well, it could be bigger. It really is pretty small. 
There's just enough room for one chair beside the bed. It does sound small. Yeah, but my only real complaint is with the shower. The water is either much too hot or way too cold. I'm going crazy. Luckily, I spoke to the manager, and he's sending a plumber up tomorrow. That's nice of him. How about the view? Oh, I do love the view of the city at night. It's wonderful. That's fantastic. What does the room have in it? Well, there's a really nice TV and a stereo. Plus, there's a fax machine and one of those mini fridges. Everything I need. Page eighty-four. Four. Let's listen. Task two. Listen again. What did each guest complain about? Circle the correct answer. Unit twenty two, traffic, page eighty six, two. Let's listen. People are making announcements about traffic conditions. Listen and number the pictures. One. There's been an accident on northbound Route one o one. A truck is overturned and traffic is very congested. So keep away from one o one north until further notice. Two. Traffic is moving smoothly today on the Kennedy Bridge. Traffic is unusually light. There are very few cars on the bridge at this time. Three. The New Harbor Bridge is very busy today. Traffic is moving very slowly across the bridge. It's bumper to bumper, so avoid the bridge if you can. Four. There has been a traffic accident on Watergate Drive. It looks like two cars had a head-on collision. There are also a couple of ambulances there, so keep away from Watergate Drive. Five. Highway 25 is closed for repairs today, so better stay away from there. No traffic will be allowed on Highway 25 all day. Six. Don't forget, it's the annual marathon today. Right now, there are hundreds of runners on the road. Pine Street and all the streets from Pine through Oak are closed until 2 p.m. Page eighty-seven, three. Let's listen. Task one. These people have to go somewhere. How will each person get there? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Are you going to take the bus downtown, or are you going to take your bike? I think there's too much traffic on the road today to go by bike. It's not safe to ride in traffic. I guess there's so much traffic because of the big football game. Well, look, I'm driving downtown. Can I give you a ride? Hey, thanks. So, do you use your bike very often? Not during the week, but I ride it pretty often on the weekend. Two. How are you going to get downtown? Are you going to drive? I don't think so. I just heard the traffic report on the radio. It seems there is a traffic jam on the freeway. They said a couple of buses have broken down. I guess it'll be quicker to take the subway. Absolutely. Three. Gosh, I wonder how much longer we'll have to wait for a bus. We've waited half an hour already. Do you think we should go back and get the car? Oh no, I hate driving at night. Let's take a taxi. I don't want to be late for the movie. Good idea. I'll call for one on my cell phone. They usually come pretty quickly. Four. How are you going to get home from the restaurant on Sunday, Harry? Oh, I can just take a bus or a taxi. There are usually plenty of taxis around that area at night. Yes, but not on a Sunday night. You might wait for a long time. Why don't you ask Kevin to drive you home? He's having dinner with us, and he lives near you. That's right. I'll ask him. Five. What's the traffic like downtown today? It's pretty bad. One of the traffic lights is broken, so all the traffic is backing up. Oh, how should I get to my doctor's appointment? Drive? Take a taxi? A taxi won't be any faster than driving. Well then, I'll probably take the subway to the station and then walk from there. Yeah, today I think that's the fastest way. Six. How do you plan to get to your friend's house? 
Do you need a ride? How's the weather? It's really nice out. Oh, thanks anyway, but I'll ride my bike. I was going to take the bus, but I need to get some exercise. All right, but be careful of the traffic. Page 87. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Page 88. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are describing solutions to traffic problems in their cities. What did each city do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. In my town, public transportation was never very good. You had to drive everywhere, so there was always traffic. The government wanted to make public transportation easier than driving cars. They bought some nice new buses, for example, and they added air conditioning to the ones we already had. They also began offering lower bus fares on the weekends, so more people would be encouraged to try the new buses. They raised taxi fares, too. I guess they figure that if taxis cost more, people might think about using buses more. 2. Well, the problem was that thousands of people drove into the city center every day, and there weren't enough parking spaces. So the government wanted to make parking easier. But they didn't build more parking garages. Instead, they tried to keep cars out of the city center. Recently, they started making people who drive their cars downtown pay a daily fee. You have to pay $10 if you want to drive your car into the center between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. At the same time, they have raised the parking lot rates, so people think twice before they drive their car downtown. 3. Traffic was a real problem around here. It moved so slowly. Last year, the government turned a bunch of streets downtown into one-way streets. This helped the traffic move more quickly. Special lanes on roads just for buses were built at the same time. If you're caught driving your car in a bus lane, you have to pay a fine, and it's a really high fine. Also, they passed a law last year that says you can only drive your car downtown three days a week. You have to display a special pass in your car that says which days you're allowed to drive downtown. 4. Air pollution in our city was a huge problem, and we really need to lower the pollution in our city. I guess that's why the government started putting special bicycle lanes on the streets downtown. That way, people can ride their bikes to work instead of using their stinky cars. They also made a rule that says there must be at least two people in your car if you want to drive downtown during the week. They also ordered these amazing new pollution-free buses. They use electricity, so they don't put anything bad into the air. Page 88. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What problem did each city have? Write the correct letter. Unit 23. Roommates. Page 90. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about their roommates. Listen and circle the two words that best describe each person. 1. I like sharing a room with Greg. He's very quiet and always asks me if it's okay for him to listen to the radio or watch TV. He likes to keep the room nice and clean, just like I do. He helps me a lot with homework, too. He's really smart and is always happy to check over my assignments. 2. Donna loves baking. She's always making things and giving them to her friends. Cakes, pies, bread. She bakes everything. No wonder I'm putting on weight. She loves calling people on the phone, and she spends hours talking to them. She really should spend more time on her schoolwork, though. 3. I have a great roommate. She's neat and she makes me laugh a lot. She's got a wonderful sense of humor. 
She's really smart, too. She studies all the time. I sometimes wish she'd take more time off to make friends because she hardly knows anyone. She doesn't seem to feel comfortable when she's around people. 4. Tom's awful as a roommate. He always says he's going to do something, like pay the phone bill, but then he doesn't do it. He never does much to keep the place clean, either. He just throws things on the floor and expects me to put them away. He doesn't care that I have to live in his mess. It drives me crazy. 5. Bob and I get along pretty well. He keeps the place really clean and neat. The only thing is, he loves to party. He's always inviting friends over, and they sit around and talk really loudly until it's very late. It makes it really hard for me to study. I've asked him not to do it when I'm studying, but he still does. I guess it doesn't bother him because he never studies. 6. Pam is difficult to live with because she has very strong opinions. She always has to be right about things, and she just sits around all day watching TV. She never does anything active. The worst thing is she loses her temper very quickly. I think I need to find a new roommate. Page 91. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are comparing their new roommate with their old roommate. Which one does each person prefer? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. How are you getting along with your new roommate? Well, she's very different from the one I had last semester. Really? Yeah. My old roommate used to play her radio really late and get about 20 phone calls a night. I could never get my work done. Luckily, my new roommate is very quiet and hardly talks on the phone. I really like her. 2. Do you have the same roommate this semester? No, I have a new one, unfortunately. I don't like him too much. Oh? Yeah, David, my roommate from last semester, was really neat and clean. My new one leaves his clothes all over the place. The place is always a mess. 3. Has your new roommate moved in yet? Yes, last week. Is he okay? Oh, yeah. I am so glad my old roommate left. He was always in a bad mood about things. My new one is so friendly and always happy. We get along really well. 4. What's your new roommate like? Oh, we've already started having arguments. How come? She likes to have her friends come by all the time. The place is always full of her noisy friends. Oh, that's too bad. You used to get along so well with the old one. I know. She was really considerate. 5. How are you and your roommate getting along? Pretty well. She usually comes home late, but she's always careful not to make any noise in case I'm sleeping. She's very thoughtful. I like that. That's nice. Yeah, she's a real change from my old roommate. She only ever cared about herself. 6. Has your new roommate arrived yet? Yes, he has. He's really fun. Oh, good. Yeah, he has a great sense of humor, so we're always joking and telling stories. That's great. Your old roommate never told jokes. Yes, he was so serious about everything. Page 91. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. What word or phrase describes each person's favorite roommate? Write the correct letter. Page 92. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People left voicemails for their roommates. What do they want their roommates to do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hi, Paul. This is Ted. Listen, could you do me a favor? I left my chemistry book on my bed. I hope you can find it. The bed's a mess because I didn't have time to make it this morning. Could you bring my book with you to class this afternoon? I need it for class, and I don't have time to go back for it. Thanks. 2. 
Anne, this is Margaret. I've invited a couple of friends to come by tonight at 7.30 to watch TV with us. You know them, Dave and Sue. Would you be able to pick up some snacks? I have a class till 7, so I won't have time to buy them before the guests arrive. I'll pay you back when I get home. Thanks. 3. Hey, Ken. It's John. Guess what? My folks just sent me an email to say they'll be over to visit around 5. Sorry, but I left the living room in a real mess. Could you give it a quick cleanup? I have football practice till 4.30, and I can't get back to do it myself. We can all go out for dinner together later. I'll buy you whatever you want to eat. 4. Brenda, this is Carrie. I'm calling because we're completely out of food. Sorry, but some friends came by earlier and we finished everything. We were really hungry. The refrigerator is completely empty. Could you get a few things for dinner on the way home? I have to finish an assignment, so I won't be home till about 8. By the way, I cleaned the apartment. I hope you like it. Page 92. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 24. Travel. Page 94. 2. Let's listen. Cindy is talking about her vacation. Listen and number the pictures. So, how was your trip to San Francisco, Cindy? Oh, pretty good, mostly. Mostly? Yeah, it started off okay. I did all the usual things. You know, I took a ride on the cable car. That was fun. I know, I love the cable cars. Then I looked around Chinatown. The food there is terrific. Oh, yeah. Anyway, on my second day, I decided to rent a car. I wanted to get out of the city and look around. Were you on your own? Uh-huh. So, first I drove across the Golden Gate Bridge and stopped to take some photos. Then I decided to drive out to Napa Valley. Napa Valley? Yeah. That's where they grow grapes to make wine. It's really beautiful. All green. Great vineyards. Unfortunately, while I was driving, I had a slight accident. Oh, no. Were you hurt? No, but it was awful. I had to leave the car and take a taxi all the way back to the hotel. It cost me an arm and a leg. Oh, no. What a vacation. Page 95. 3. Let's listen. Task 1. People are calling home while they are on vacation. Listen and check the word that describes each person. 1. Hi, Mom. This is Jill. Just calling to say hello. I'm having a wonderful time. Last week, I met this gorgeous Italian guy. He's really nice. Um, he doesn't have a job yet, but I'm sure he's going to be very successful. A and guess what? He wants to marry me. He gave me a beautiful ring. I think it belonged to a relative. Anyway, what do you think? I'll call back later. Bye. Two. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. This is Sean. I'm having a terrific time, but I'm not relaxing much. The weather is great, so I'm always busy doing something. Things are really expensive in Hawaii. The hotel, the clothes, the food, everything. And I'm completely out of money. So can you send me some money as soon as possible? Thanks. Love you. Bye. Three. Mom? This is John. Listen, I'm going to be back a day late. Traffic to the airport this morning was terrible. By the time I arrived, my plane had left. I also lost my wallet in the rush. It has all my credit cards in it, and the airline won't help me. I'm not sure what to do. I'll call you later. Bye. 4. Oh, Bob, this is Rachel. Sorry I missed your call last night. I went out for dinner, and today I've got a terrible stomachache. It must be something I ate. Anyway, I'm going to see the doctor. Don't worry. I'm sure I'll be fine. Talk to you soon. Five. 
Hi, Dad. This is Mary calling from Paris. Sorry I missed you. Listen, something terrible happened. I went on a bus tour this morning and dropped my glasses somewhere. I can't find them and I can't see anything without them. Can you call me back as soon as you get this message? 6. Hi, Mom. This is Margaret calling. Listen, I won't be home tomorrow night. They changed my flight, and there's no flight tomorrow. So, uh, I'll be home on Friday. Don't worry about me. I'm excited because I can do a few more things here in Hong Kong. See you soon. Page 95. 3. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Why does each person call? Circle the correct answer. Page 96. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are describing travel experiences. Is each statement true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Cassandra. I met this really nice family when I was in Korea last year. I was in a restaurant, and I was having trouble understanding the menu. The wife came over and asked me what I wanted to eat and told me all about Korean food. Then they asked me to join them at their table, and they paid for my dinner. They also invited me to their house. We became friends, and we keep in touch now by email. They'll take me to a famous temple the next time I go back. Isn't that fabulous? I can't wait to see that temple. 2. Brooke Once when I was in Italy, I took a bus trip from Rome to Florence. The bus was very crowded, and I had to stand most of the way. I had a couple of small bags with me. One was a backpack that had my wallet in it. I kept it in front of me for the entire trip, but when I got to Florence, I couldn't believe what had happened. Someone had cut a hole in my backpack, put in their hand, and removed my wallet. Then they took the money out and put the wallet back inside my backpack. I never noticed a thing. It really ruined my vacation because I couldn't pay to get into any museums. So now I want to go back again next summer and really see the museums I missed. 3. Corey Last summer I flew from London to Casablanca in Morocco to do some research on the traditional music there. Unfortunately, my bags didn't arrive with the flight. I thought they would probably arrive on the next flight, but they didn't. I had nothing to wear except the clothes I was wearing. Luckily, the airline gave me some money to buy some extra clothes and things. The bags didn't turn up till four days later. I was really glad to get my bags back, because I had a lot of important stuff inside them. But I had to wait around until they turned up, so I didn't get a chance to listen to any of the traditional music. That's why I want to get back there again sometime. 4. Melanie I was on vacation in Australia last summer when I got a terrible case of the flu. I had to stay in bed for four days, and it was a week before I was feeling well enough to go out. I have a cousin in Sydney who was really kind and spent a lot of time with me until I was better. By then, I only had three days of sightseeing left before I had to leave. I saw the Sydney Opera House, and that was about it. The most awful thing is I didn't have the chance to go scuba diving. I want to go back and scuba dive there. It has the best coral reefs in the world. Page 96. 4. Let's listen. Task 2. Listen again. Why does each person want to go back again? Write the correct letter. This is the end of Compact Disc 3.
Developing Tactics for Listening, Second Edition, by Jack C. Richards. Published in copyright, Oxford University Press, 2003. Student CD. Unit 1, page 4. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their weekends. How was each person's weekend? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I had a really great weekend. I didn't have anything to do on Saturday afternoon, so I went to the mall. I went into a department store to look around. They were having a contest. All you had to do was write answers to some easy questions about pop music and put your answers in a box. Then they pulled out three names for a prize. And guess what? Mine was the first name they pulled out. I couldn't believe it. And it's a terrific prize. A weekend for two in Las Vegas. Two. Saturday morning, I got a phone call from an old school friend. I haven't seen her for a long time. She was one of my closest friends in high school, but she moved to Los Angeles to work. She was in town for four days, so she invited me to a restaurant for lunch. We had such a pleasant time together. She was telling me about her job in Los Angeles. It sounds really interesting. She works for a movie company, and she has to find places where they can film movies. You know, places like restaurants, hotel lobbies, parks, and streets. 3. My brother and I wanted some exercise on Sunday, so we decided to go on a nature walk. There's a big park near the town where there are supposed to be wonderful wild birds and butterflies. We took a bus there and walked along a forest trail for about four hours. It was pretty tiring because it was a really hot day. The worst thing was, we never saw any wild birds or butterflies. <laughs> I don't think we'll go there again. Four. I went to my friend's birthday party on Saturday night. I don't always enjoy going to birthday parties because you often have to play stupid games and things. Well, we did have to play all sorts of stupid games, but I really enjoyed myself. I guess it was because the people at the party were all interesting, and there was good music, too. Somebody brought along some dance music and everyone had a great time dancing. I didn't get home until after 2 a.m. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 2. Page 8. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Visitors are talking about taxis. Listen and check their opinions about taxi service. 1. I hate using taxis here. The drivers drive too fast and really dangerously, and they're often rude. The cars are mostly in pretty poor condition, but what I hate most is that they aren't air-conditioned. It's so hot here. They really need air-conditioned taxis. By the time I arrive somewhere, I feel really hot and uncomfortable. 2. I've taken quite a few taxi rides recently. I've never had any big problems using taxis here. They're usually clean, and the cars are pretty new. The prices are good, too. The thing I like most, though, is the drivers. They drive very carefully, and I think that's very important. 3. I find that taxis here are okay. They're pretty comfortable. Most of the cars they use are new, and they keep them really clean. They're a little expensive, though. I paid $50 to come from the airport. That is too expensive. I guess the thing I hate the most, though, is that the drivers don't speak English very well. It's very difficult to explain to them where you want to go. 4. The taxis here are okay, I guess. They're very cheap, so that's the thing I like most about them. It never costs more than a few dollars to go anywhere. But the taxis are all pretty old, so they're not very comfortable. Half of them don't have seatbelts or air conditioning. Task 2. Listen again. 
Circle the correct answer. Unit 3, page 12, 4. Let's listen. Task 1. A car rental agent is suggesting different options to customers. Do the customers accept or refuse the options? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Right now you're taking a small car, but you know, I can give you a much more comfortable car if you like. How much more will it cost to take a large car? It's only an extra $5 a day if you take it for the whole weekend. Oh, that's a good idea because we'll have more room. We have three children, so a bigger car would be much more comfortable. 2. Would you like to buy a city guide? How much is it? It's $15. $15? Can I look at it? Sure. Here you are. Let me see what kind of information it has in it. Hmm. Sightseeing, restaurants, hotels. Actually, I already have a guide that has all that information. So, thanks anyway. No problem. 3. It's cheaper for you to take the car for three days instead of just for two days. How come? Well, it's $30 a day. But if you take it for three days, we have a special rate of just $70 altogether. I see. Actually, I'm leaving on Sunday. I really only need it for two days. Thanks anyway. 4. Would you like to take out accident insurance? We have an excellent policy we can offer you. Take a look at this brochure. It gives you all the information you'll need. Thanks. Let me see. What does it say? Oh, I see. It only costs an extra $5 a day. That seems pretty reasonable. So you'll take the accident insurance? Yes. I think I will because I can drive without worrying. You certainly can. 5. Now, are you sure you wouldn't like to rent a bigger car? The car you've asked for only has two doors. It's probably more convenient to have a four-door car. Does it cost any more? It's just an extra $10 for a four-door. Well, I don't think it's necessary because I'll be alone. A small two-door car is fine. Thanks anyway. 6. You rent cars a lot. Are you interested in joining our car rental club? You can save money on car rentals that way. We have branches in all the major cities. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Can I look at the brochure, please? Here you are. Hmm. This is good. I can get a 20% discount every time I rent a car. That's right. 20% off every time. Excellent. I think I'd like to join, please. I can save a lot of money. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 4. Page 16. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about parties. What did they do at each party? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hey, what a great party that was. There were lots of interesting people there and some really cute guys. I met one really nice guy named Tony. I think he's going to call me next week. Anyway, the best thing was the music. Everyone danced a lot. I'm really glad we didn't have to play party games or sing stupid songs. The food was good, too. We ate outside, you know, barbecue style. 2. Peter's party was terrible. We had to play all sorts of stupid games, like memorizing everyone's name. Twenty questions, I think. Then we watched a home video of Peter's vacation in Hawaii. Boring. Actually, I prefer parties where people just sit around and talk and eat. But we didn't eat till very late. The worst thing was, when we finally did eat, there wasn't enough food. I was still feeling hungry when I left. 3. I went to this party on Saturday night. When I arrived, I looked around and I didn't know anyone there. But everyone was really friendly, and soon I got to know a lot of people. I really enjoyed myself. 
I thought it was going to be a dance party, but no one really felt like dancing. We listened to some nice music, though. There were some guys from Spain there. One of them had a guitar and could play it really well. The best thing was, he taught us some neat Spanish songs. We all really enjoyed singing them. Four. I went to a school party on Friday. No one had really planned the party. That was the main problem. Also, I think we were all too tired after the exams. The worst thing was, no one brought any music. We just stood around talking and eating junk food. Someone said, let's play some party games, but no one wanted to play games. Everyone went home before 1030. Task two, listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 5, page 20. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about restaurants they ate at recently. Listen and check their opinions about each restaurant. 1. We went to Luigi's Italian restaurant last night. It was the first time I'd been there. It took us a long time to find it because it's not a very easy place to get to, actually. The restaurant was okay, I guess. It's small, and they really need some new furniture to make the place look nicer, though. The menu was great. It had lots of choices, and most of the dishes were pretty cheap. I had a terrific pizza. Everything was so cheap. Only three dollars for a small pizza. Unfortunately, the service was very slow. I think they need to hire more staff. Our dinner took a really long time to come, so we didn't leave a very good tip when we left. 2. I tried that new Mexican restaurant last weekend. It's downtown, near the post office. What a great location. You can sit inside and watch everyone go by. It has very nice decor and lighting. The menu has some great choices, too. They have the usual Mexican food you find everywhere, and they also have some different dishes that I've never tried before. The food was really delicious, but you might need a credit card to eat there. It cost over $100 for the two of us, a lot more than I expected. I'll probably go there again, though. The server who waited on us was really nice and quick, too, so we thought she deserved a good tip. 3. I went to a Thai restaurant on Sunday. It's called Bangkok Restaurant. You have to drive for about half an hour to get there, and there's always a lot of traffic. That's the only trouble. It's a really nice place when you get there. Quiet music and lovely flowers everywhere. The menu is good with lots of choices. The food was very spicy, which is the way I like it. Fantastic desserts. It was really cheap, too. The server was very polite and took good care of us, so we left a big tip. 4. There's a new Chinese restaurant just five minutes from my house. It's a very simple place. A little boring inside, actually. Just a few tables in an empty room. They need to add more dishes to the menu, too. Right now, they serve only four or five things. But they're all delicious and very cheap. You can get a good meal there for around $5. All the people who work there were very friendly and helpful, so I left a good tip. Task 2. Listen again. Did each person leave a good tip? Check the correct answer. Unit 6. Page 24. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. A sales clerk is describing things in a store. Listen and circle the correct information about each item. 1. These microwave ovens are very popular. You won't find them in other stores because they're made especially for us. We import them from our factory in Mexico. They're very well made and come with a three-year guarantee. Your receipt is your guarantee. One great thing is they only weigh 10 kilos, so you can easily pick one up if you want to move it or clean it. They also have a really special feature you don't find in other microwaves. They display popular recipes on this little screen in front. It has recipes for over 500 easy dishes. 
too. This jacket is very strong. It's made of nylon, so it's very easy to take care of. It comes in six different colors. You don't need to dry clean it. You can just throw it in the washing machine, then hang it up to dry. And let me show you something really special about it. It's reversible. It turns inside out so you can wear it either way. See? The color inside is different from the color outside. Isn't that great? So you really have two jackets for the price of one. Three. These new flat screen TVs are very popular nowadays. They're not from the United States. They're made in South Korea. They're quite light, so you can pick them up and move them around if you want to. And the special thing about these TVs is that you can also hang them on the wall. Now that's something you can't do with any other kind of TV. They come in three different sizes. They're more expensive than a regular TV, but they're very convenient, and they look great in your house or apartment. Four. These new watches are very popular with teenagers. They're modern and made entirely of plastic, so they're very light. Each watch comes with six different bands, so you can change the band to match your clothes. Another thing is they're very strong. They're also waterproof. But what's really special is that this is not only a watch. You can use it to send and receive email messages. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 7, page 28. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about flights. Listen and check their opinions about each flight. 1. The airport is far away from the city, and it's a pretty horrible place. It's very crowded, and there are not many facilities there. You know, like stores or restaurants. Anyway, my flight was okay. It was a bit bumpy, but it left on time. The food was awful, though. It was dry and tasteless. The service was fantastic. The flight attendants did their best to make everyone feel comfortable. The worst problem was the other passengers. The plane was full of loud college students on their way to spring vacation in Florida. Next time, I won't travel during spring break. 2. It must be one of the best airports in the world. It's full of stores and restaurants, and they even have a gym and a swimming pool there. The flight was great, too. It was very smooth. The food was so-so. I thought they would serve better food. The service wasn't good. The flight attendants were really impolite. Next time, I'll try a different airline. Maybe Gold Star Airlines. 3. The airport is okay, I guess. It's really small, but it's near the city. The flight was great, nice and smooth. I had my own TV screen, and I could choose my own movies. The food was fantastic. It was a spicy meat dish with some very nice vegetables. The only problem was the service. It was very slow because I was sitting right at the back of the plane, and it took the flight attendants a long time to reach me. They weren't very friendly either. Next time, I'll try to get a seat near the front of the plane. 4. It isn't one of my favorite airports, but it's okay. The airport is always very crowded, and it takes a long time to check in and go through immigration. Other than that, it's all right. The flight was pretty awful. As soon as we took off, we ran into bad weather, and it became very bumpy. The food was great. They served a really nice chicken dish. The flight attendants were really nice. I think the next time I fly, I'll check the weather report before I leave. If the weather looks bad along the route, I won't fly. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 8. Page 32. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Four people are talking about health problems. Listen and check the correct information. 1. Patrick. 
I woke up this morning with a really bad stomach ache. At first, I thought it was because I ate a really big dinner last night. I often have a stomach ache if I eat too much. Anyway, I, I took some medicine, but I don't think it's working because my stomach still feels funny. So I'm going to see the doctor tomorrow. Maybe she can give me something stronger. It's awful because if I'm sick, I can't go to my friend's concert tomorrow night. 2. Jenna I really hurt my arm playing tennis on Saturday. It's strange because I've been playing tennis for a long time and I've never had this problem before. I can hardly lift my arm at all. It's really sore. I've been taking aspirin for the pain and that helps a little, but if it isn't any better tomorrow, I'll go and see the sports doctor. It's annoying because we have the tennis championships this weekend. If it isn't better, I won't be able to play. 3. Kenneth I have a bad ear infection. It started after I went swimming last weekend. It's really painful and I can hardly sleep at night. I often get ear infections in the summer. The doctor gave me some ear drops and some antibiotics, so it should get better in a few days. I hope my ears get better because I have to play in a band at a party next Saturday. 4. Alexis I came down with food poisoning two days ago. It was awful. I went out for dinner and ate fish. I don't think the fish was fresh because I got really sick in the middle of the night. Luckily, I had some medicine in the house because I had the same problem once before. I didn't go to the doctor. I just took the medicine and I feel better today. Unfortunately, I probably won't go to my best friend's birthday party tonight. I still don't feel 100% well. That's life, I guess. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 9, page 36. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their jobs. Which statement is true? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. I work for a market research company. We do research for companies that are planning to develop new products. I call people and ask them questions about products they are using now. Sometimes I invite people to come to meetings. We discuss plans for new products with them. It's pretty interesting work. I've been doing it for nearly 15 years now, and I've got no plans to change jobs. The thing I really like about my job is that each month I'm working on something completely different so it never gets boring. 2. I have my own design company. It's very small, just me and two assistants. I design brochures, advertisements for magazines, menus, and things like that. It's a very creative job. I started this company just two years ago after I graduated from design school. Things have gone pretty well for me. I have two big clients and most of my work is for them. Sometimes I have to work very late at night if I have a big job to finish quickly. I always have plenty of work to do, and I am always busy. 3. I've had my own restaurant for 10 years. When I first bought this place, I thought it would be easy to run, but it's very hard work. I work long hours. Sometimes we're very busy, and sometimes we're very slow. We usually have a lot of customers on the weekends. During the week, it's sometimes quiet. I never have a day off because there are always so many things to do. I don't do any of the cooking myself. I have three very good chefs to do that. Owning a restaurant is a tough job, but I love it. I don't want to do anything else. 4. I'm a flight attendant. Many people think it's a boring job, but I love it. I get to travel all over the world and I meet lots of interesting people. I like that. The job is pretty easy, really. We don't work non-stop for the whole flight. We have plenty of time to sit down and take a break. On long flights, we can even take a nap. Also, the money is very good because all our expenses are paid when we're working. 
Task 2. Listen again. Circle the word that each person uses to describe his or her job. Unit 10. Page 40. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about exercise. Listen and check the activities they do or do not do now. 1. Brandon. I was a big athlete in high school. All I did was swimming, swimming, and more swimming. But I work now, and I never go swimming. I know that I should exercise more, but I'm just too lazy. Jogging? That's way too much work, and it really makes my knees hurt. A lot of people I know are into bicycling, but I don't have a bike. I guess there's tennis, though. My wife loves it and wants to teach me how to play. I'd like to play, I think. 2. Alicia After my husband got sick last year, the doctor told him to lose 20 kilos. Since then, I've been trying to help him lose the weight by exercising with him. There isn't much we can do together, though. We sometimes jog in the morning, but when he works late, he doesn't want to wake up early. Our community center has an aerobics class in the evening, but he won't go. He says it's just for women, so neither of us does that. He wanted to try weightlifting, but the doctor said it was too dangerous. So now I'm thinking about getting him golf lessons, for both of us, actually. The walking might be good exercise, and it might even be a little romantic, too. 3. Ian I may be retired, but I stay very active. I play tennis with my daughters every weekend, and I go golfing every day. I used to lift weights, too. And I'm talking about heavy weights. But I had to stop recently because I had to have an operation on my back. Now I'm really worried that I'll have to stop playing tennis and golf, too. I don't really have a lot of hobbies or interests besides sports, so I really need to keep doing them. The doctor said swimming would help my back improve, so maybe I'll try that. 4. Crystal I guess I really need to get some exercise outside, in nature. Right now I exercise all the time, but it's always indoors. I lift weights at an indoor gym, and I go swimming every weekend at an indoor pool. I even go jogging on an indoor track. I was watching TV last night when a bicycling competition came on. Now I'm totally excited about bicycle racing. I would really love to try it. Task 2. Listen again. What sport does each person want to try? Write the correct letter. Unit 11, page 44. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Listen to the invitations on Judy's voicemail. Are the statements true or false? Check the correct answer. 1. Judy, this is David. How are things? I'm calling to see if you want to come over to my place on Friday night. Some friends from school are coming over to watch the soccer game on TV. They'll probably bring pizza to eat while we watch. We plan to meet at my place around 7 o'clock. Anyway, if you can come, please give me a call. Bye. 2. Hi, Judy. This is Maria. Sorry I missed you. I wondered if you're free for lunch on Saturday. It's Pam's birthday, and some of us are planning a surprise party for her. We're going to meet at that Japanese restaurant in the mall at 1 p.m. If you can join us, please let me know as soon as you can. Oh, we're buying her a big bunch of flowers, so you don't have to buy anything for her. Okay, I'll call you later. Bye! 3. Hello, Judy. This is your Aunt Betty. How's my favorite niece? Listen, honey, I have an extra ticket for the opera on Friday night. I wondered if you'd like to go with me. It's a wonderful Australian singer, a soprano. Doesn't that sound great? I know how you love opera. We could have dinner together before the concert, if you like. Anyway, I'll call you tonight to see if you're interested in going. Bye-bye. 4. Hi, Judy. This is Paul. 
some of us are going bowling on Sunday afternoon, and we wondered if you'd like to join us. We'll meet at around 3 p.m. at the Holiday Bowling Lanes. You know, the one we usually go to. We're going to have dinner somewhere afterward, and then see a movie, too. How does that sound? Give me a call if you want to join us. Bye. Task 2. Listen again. Should Judy call back, or will the person call her again? Circle the correct answer. Unit 12. Page 48. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their vacations. Listen and number the topics from 1 to 4 in the order they are mentioned. 1. Los Angeles is really beautiful. Everyone is so healthy and perfect-looking, but kind of unfriendly. This afternoon, I was parking my car at the beach when this man in a pickup truck started yelling at me. He said it was his parking space at a public parking lot. We had to find another parking space, which wasn't easy, and it really scared my kids. When we finally got to the beach, it was just beautiful. We watched one of those great, slow California sunsets. Then we had a delicious seafood dinner. After that, we drove back to our hotel and ordered dessert in our room, apple pie and vanilla ice cream. The hotel staff was helpful, and they were very nice to my kids. I really appreciated that. 2. When my friends and I arrived in Paris last week, we took this awful taxi from the airport to the hotel. We got in an accident, but no one was hurt. When we finally got to the hotel, the room was really small and dirty, and there was only one bed for three people, so we asked them to give us a different room. For dinner, we went to this little restaurant across the street. I had the most delicious onion soup. The waiters were really friendly and helpful. They helped translate the menu for us and suggested some really delicious dishes. 3. The buses in India are horrible. Today it took us 12 hours to go only 100 kilometers. The seats were really small and it was much too crowded. The bus broke down and we had to wait by the side of the road for a few hours. After an hour or so, the people on the bus started singing songs, you know, to pass the time, and some of them were even dancing. They asked me a lot of questions about my family back home, and that felt good. Then some kids came by selling these delicious melons and crispy fried snacks. I'd never tasted anything so spicy. I'm really looking forward to sleeping in my hotel room tonight. The bed is really soft and comfortable, and you can see the mountains from the window. 4. I arrived here in Bangkok a couple of days ago. At first, I was sure I was going to have a horrible vacation because I had this awful toothache. Luckily, the man at the tourist office was really helpful. He found a great English-speaking dentist for me. The people have all been really friendly like that. I got my tooth fixed this morning, and then I went sightseeing and saw all of the wonderful old temples in the city. I took so many beautiful pictures. And the shopping! I found a lot of great designer clothes for cheap prices. The only problem is the buses. They aren't air-conditioned. Tomorrow, I'm taking taxis everywhere. Task 2. Listen again. For each topic, does the person have a positive or negative opinion? Check the correct answer. Unit 13, page 52. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their interests. Listen and check two suitable hobbies for each person. 1. Scott. A few months ago, I moved to this cute little house out in the country. Before I moved, all I did was sit in coffee shops and read or surf the Internet. Boring! Now I want to spend all my free time outside, enjoying nature. The only problem is, I'm not in very good shape, so I don't like doing any sports or anything that involves a lot of exercise. I tried hiking once, but I fell down a hill and hurt my leg. 
Don't get me wrong, I love the outdoors, but what I really want is something I can do quietly in nature. 2. Christine I live in a big city, so I love being around lots of people. My brother is completely the opposite. Last weekend, he took me to the country to go bird watching. I was so bored the whole time. I like talking to people and doing creative things. I'd just love to get all my friends together at my apartment in the city and do something. We could have a dinner party, maybe. Or we could bring over some guitars and drums and stuff like that and sing and dance. 3. Joe Exercise is really important to me. I like doing things where I keep active, things that are good for your health. My roommate isn't like that at all, though. He wakes up and surfs the Internet for hours. Then he plays his guitar in his room all afternoon. Yuck. I just hate sitting around indoors. I especially hate surfing the Internet. I want to meet other people. I also want to get out and visit new places, like out in the country, where you can see some real nature. 4. Amy I'm not so young anymore, so I don't really like going to parties or working out at the gym all the time. I don't like hiking around in nature, either. I like to do things that develop my mind or things that teach me about other countries and places. What I really love is history. To me, a good history book is a lot more exciting than a fancy dinner party or some concert or a big baseball game. And now there's a lot of great historical information on the Internet, too. I'm not one of those old ladies who sits at home and collects stamps. For me, learning something new is a real adventure. Task 2. Listen again. What is one activity each person likes doing? Circle the correct answer. Unit 14. Page 56. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about shopping. Listen and circle the correct information about each person. 1. I went to the summer sale at the department store the other day. There were hundreds of people there. People were lined up in front of the main door before it opened. As soon as the doors opened, everyone rushed in. There were some great bargains there, but it was impossible to find what I wanted because of the crowds. I really wanted to buy a few things, but after a while I got fed up and left without buying anything. Big crowds drive me crazy. Next time, I won't go shopping during a big sale. 2. I bought lots of cheap clothes when I was on vacation last summer. Things were about half the price of the same things here. The clothes looked well made, so I spent a lot of money. But I've had problems with almost everything I bought. Some things fell apart, some shrank as soon as I washed them, and the colors have faded on the rest. Next time, I'll save my money and wait for the sales at home. 3. I needed a new camera last month so I bought one from a store in the mall. I paid $148 for it, and it's a really good camera. It takes beautiful pictures. A few days ago, though, I found exactly the same camera in a store downtown for only $95. I was really annoyed, but I guess there's nothing much I can do about it. Next time, I will spend more time comparing prices before I buy something. 4. Some friends and I were on vacation in China last summer. I went shopping one day and got some really fabulous things. I got nice running shoes and tennis clothes. I thought the prices were reasonable, and I hate bargaining, so I just paid the price they asked. The next day, one of my friends went back to the same store and decided to bargain. She got things for much cheaper prices than I paid. Next time I go traveling, I'll be sure to bargain when I buy something. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 15. Page 60. 4. Let's listen.
Task 1. People are talking about the hotels they are staying in. Listen and check their opinions about each hotel. 1. My friends and I flew down here to the beach for spring vacation. Of course, we're really excited about swimming and partying and meeting other college students. Our hotel is full of families and little kids, though. The restaurants are terrible, really crowded with kids, and noisy, and they're really slow, too. The hotel should have one restaurant that's just for adults, I think. Another problem is the service. The staff is too busy running activities for the little kids, so sometimes they don't bring us new towels or clean the room. One good thing is the room. It's really big and has a great view of the beach. The price is great, too. I guess most college students don't want to stay here, so the room rates are low. 2. I travel a lot for my job. Too much, I think. Sometimes I'm away from home for three weeks or more. It can be pretty lonely. That's why I'm so happy about the hotel where I'm staying now. First of all, the restaurant serves light, healthy food that gives me a lot of energy for my work. Then there's the staff. They're very friendly to me. My only complaint is with the room. The bed is very hard. They should buy a softer mattress. Oh, and the rates are expensive, but the company pays for it, so I don't mind. 3. Our trip to the lake has been pretty disappointing so far. It takes two days to drive there, so of course we have to stay in a hotel for one night on the way. My husband forgot to make a reservation, though. We found a hotel, but the restaurant is just a bar that serves food, so the kids can't eat there because they're too young. When I complained about it to the hotel manager, he just laughed at me. They should get a new manager. The room is dirty and tiny. It's really bad. The kids have to share a bed, and they're unhappy about that. Of course, the rates are very cheap, so that's good. We'll have to make sure to make reservations from now on. 4. My flight was delayed by a big snowstorm, so I had to stay overnight in this hotel. My only complaint is the restaurants. There are three of them, and they are all way too expensive for me, because the airline isn't paying for my dinner. They should have at least one cheap, casual restaurant. The staff is so friendly, though. Whenever I call the front desk to ask for something, they always remember my name, and they work so quickly. The room is huge, with a giant bathroom that is bigger than my whole apartment. It's got everything, a refrigerator, a hot tub, a microwave, even a big screen TV with a VCR. The rates are very expensive. I am so glad that the airline is paying for the room. Task 2. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit 16. Page 64. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about movies. What did they like or not like about each movie? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. I went to a really dumb movie last night. You should save yourself some money and find something else to do. It's supposed to be a comedy, but it isn't very funny at all. The story is really boring. It's all about some guys who were planning a bank robbery, and everything goes wrong. Some of the actors were really big stars, but the acting was just terrible. They seemed bored, and so was I. The ending was supposed to be this big surprise, but everyone in the theater knew it was coming. I guess the only good part was the music. The opening song had a great beat, and the rest of the soundtrack wasn't bad. Two. I saw that new action movie this weekend. The story was much better than I expected. The main character has to go way underground, under the subway stations, to find this monster. The main character is that really handsome star, Matt Castle. He looked fantastic. It's worth the price of a ticket just to see him on the big screen, smiling and fighting, and wearing these really great suits. The ending was a bit stupid and the music was disappointing, but I was still really into the story. 
If you like action movies or good-looking movie stars, you should go out and see it right away. 3. I saw an excellent movie last night. It was a totally different kind of story from a typical war movie. It was exciting and intelligent. The star was that actor who just won a big award. He's always good, but he's unbelievably good in this one. And the actress who plays opposite him is wonderful. The ending is really sad, but it also made me think a lot about really deep and important stuff. I like it when movies do that to me. You should really try to see it. I don't usually like war movies, but this one is really exciting. It has a terrific soundtrack. The songs made the battle scenes really exciting. 4. Have you seen that new animated movie that's showing now? You should see it. The story is about a war between humans and giant insects. I know it sounds kind of silly, but the story really works well. All the animation was done with computers, and they used the voices of some really famous actors. That really made the movie enjoyable. I won't say who wins in the end, but I will tell you that it's a big surprise. I left the theater very happy. I guess they could have chosen better music, though. I don't think rap music is good for that kind of movie. Task 2. Listen again. Does each person recommend the movie or not? Check the correct answer. Unit 17, page 68. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about their fears. Is each statement true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. When I was a kid, I got stuck in an elevator when the electricity went out, and since then I've always been afraid of elevators. I was all alone, and there was no way to get out of the elevator. I hated that feeling. Now I almost never use elevators. I take the stairs instead. If I have to take an elevator, for example, if I'm in a really tall building, I make sure there's someone else in the elevator with me. The only problem is, sometimes I have to wait a long time until another person comes along. 2. I don't like swimming in the ocean because the waves are so dangerous. They always knock me over. I also hate the way that seaweed touches me when I swim in the ocean. I always think it's some animal that's going to bite me. You know, like a shark or a jellyfish. That's why I only swim in a swimming pool. The only problem is that the pool in my neighborhood is always crowded. 3. Dogs are the only animals I'm really afraid of. But not all dogs, just big dogs. I don't mind cats and birds because they don't usually bite you. But dogs? That's a different story. I'm sure it's because of the time a huge dog chased me when I was a kid. It only bit me once, but I've been really scared of dogs ever since. I never visit anyone if they have a big dog in the house. That's a real problem because a lot of my friends have really big dogs, so they always have to come to my house. 4. I know why, but I'm really afraid of heights. I work in a tall building, and I can't even stand to look out my office window. Right away, I get this feeling like I'm suddenly going to fall. I'm really afraid. Of course, airplanes are the worst. I'm really nervous when I have to fly. The biggest problem is that there are some fun things I can't do with my kids. The other weekend, I took them to an amusement park. They were excited about going on the roller coasters, but I was too afraid to take them. My kids were really disappointed. I felt terrible about letting them down. Task 2. Listen again. What problem does the fear cause for each person? Circle the correct answer. Unit 18, page 72. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. Daniel is listening to messages on his voicemail at work. Is each statement true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. 
Hi, this is Mary from Gold Coast Travel Agency. We've confirmed your flights for you, so come by and get your tickets any time today before 7 p.m. We've also booked you for three nights in the Paradise Inn right on the beach. The hotel has a shuttle bus that takes you from the airport to the hotel, and it should be waiting for you outside the baggage claim area. It's a complimentary shuttle, so you don't have to pay for the trip, although we recommend you tip the driver. A few dollars for each bag should be fine. All right? Call me at 878-1990 when you get this message. 2. Hey, this is Peter from the mailroom. There's a package here waiting for you, so when you get a chance, could you come down and pick it up? Actually, it's after 5 o'clock, so I guess we're closed now. I'll leave the package for you at the front desk with the receptionist. Just pick it up tomorrow from her. Oh, I almost forgot. That letter you were waiting for, the urgent one with the legal documents, I'm sorry to tell you it hasn't arrived yet. If you want to check again tomorrow morning, just give me a call at extension 44. 3. Hi, this is Frank. Hope you're not working too hard down there. Anyway, I was calling to ask you something. Would you like to have lunch with me? I want to take you to lunch at a great Italian restaurant near the harbor. They serve this really amazing vegetarian lasagna, and the service is really great, helpful and polite. Then, after lunch, I was thinking maybe we could take a boat trip on the river. I'm sure you'd enjoy it. Anyway, give me a call on Thursday and let me know if you're free. My number is 754-9367. 4. Hi, this message is for Daniel. This is Mrs. Lee from Sunshine Dry Cleaners. The shirts you left with us on Friday are ready now. Please pick them up from the store any time on Monday. We're open until 9 p.m. In case you don't remember, we're on the corner of Elm Street and Highway 31, next to the movie theater. The total cost for the shirts is $25.99, but we don't take credit cards, so you'll have to pay cash. If you have any questions, please call me. The number is 468-3114. Task 2. Listen again. What is each caller's telephone number? Write the answers. Unit 19, page 76. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are talking about the tours they took. What was good or bad about each tour? Listen and check the correct answers. 1. Have you taken a tour since you've been here? Yes. I went on one last weekend. What was it like? Well, we didn't see a lot. We mainly went to a lot of shops. I would have preferred to see more of the museums and famous buildings. I'm not really interested in shopping. And the bus they took us in was so old and slow. They should put it in the museum. Really? Did you say anything to the guide about it? Well, the problem was he didn't speak English very well. And he wasn't really very friendly. That's too bad. But we did have a nice lunch on the tour, and the whole tour was very cheap, so it wasn't all bad. But I don't think it was worth the time or money, even though it was cheap. 2. What was your city tour like? Well, we saw lots of interesting places on the tour. I was totally exhausted at the end of it, but I'm really glad I took it. You should try it. Did you go by bus? Yes, we had a nice, comfortable bus and a very helpful guide. You know how some guides talk all the time? This one didn't. He gave us just enough information, but not too much. Where did they take you for lunch? Oh, some dirty little place near the center of town. I didn't eat much because the food didn't look very good to me. That's too bad. Was the tour expensive? No, not at all. It was very reasonable. 3. Did you just get back from the tour? Yeah, it was really good. We visited all the places of interest. I'm glad we took it. Did you take a bus or a van? We took a bus. There were only 15 of us in it, so we had lots of room. It was a new, clean one, so it was pretty comfortable. Did you have a guide? Oh, yes. She was great. A young student, I think. She really knew her stuff. 
How was lunch? Awful. We just had some fast food along the way. How much was the tour? Well, it was pretty expensive. That was the only problem. One hundred dollars. I think they should have charged us about fifty. But anyway, I think it's definitely worth doing this tour. Four. So how was the tour? It was disappointing, actually. That's too bad. Yeah, we didn't get to see very much. It was too short. I wanted to see a lot more. Really? It wasn't very comfortable either. The bus wasn't air conditioned, so it got very hot and stuffy after a while. Uh huh. Anyway, the guide was very helpful. He gave us some very interesting information and told a lot of jokes, so that was fun. And we had a really good lunch at a seafood restaurant. So was the tour worth it? Well, it was only fifteen dollars, which is pretty reasonable. But if you want to take a tour, you should try a different tour company. Task two: Listen again. Would each person recommend the tour? Check the correct answer. Unit twenty, page eighty, four. Let's listen. Task one. People are talking about airports in different cities. Listen and check the correct answers. One. What's the airport like in your town? Well, it's only a short distance from the center of town, so that's good. Yes. And it's pretty easy to get there. It only costs about five dollars by taxi, or you can take a bus for most of the hotels. Is it a big airport? It's fairly big, but it's not a very pleasant place to spend time. How come? There isn't much to do there. They really should put in some stores and cafes. That would help. Luckily, you don't have to spend much time there because it usually only takes about five minutes to check in and go through customs and immigration. Two. What's the new airport like? It's fantastic. Much better than the old one. Is it far from town? Not really. It's only about twenty kilometers from the city, so it doesn't take long to get there. That's good. Yes. Now I can get out there on a fast train, which makes the trip very comfortable. How nice! What are the facilities like at the airport? It's almost like a big shopping mall. There are department stores, shops, a game center, and even a gym. It sounds great. Yeah, it is. The only trouble is, it's always very crowded, so it can take a while to get through check-in. They really need to add some more check-in counters to speed things up. Three, is the new airport close to town? Yeah, really close. Does it take long to get to the airport? Well, you have to go by taxi or train, so it depends on how long it takes you to get a taxi. There are never enough taxis that will go to the airport, so you have to wait for a while. You can go by train, but it's not very easy to get on when you're carrying bags. There really should be a bus service into town. I agree. Yeah. But once you get there, it's okay. There are lots of good duty-free stores, and the restaurants are pretty good. Try the Italian restaurant there; it's excellent. Does it take long to check in? No, check-in usually goes pretty quickly. Four. What do you think of the airport? Well, it's far from downtown, and when the traffic is bad, it can take an hour and a half to get there. The city really needs to build a new airport that is closer to the city. Do you usually drive to the airport? No, I usually take the airport bus. The bus is pretty nice. It's clean and comfortable, and it's a lot cheaper than driving because you don't have to pay for parking. Is there much to do there while you wait for your flight? Sure. There are a couple of stores that sell souvenirs and magazines. There are also a couple of fast food places, and they're fine for coffee and a sandwich. How long does it take to check in? It doesn't take long. They're pretty efficient. Task two. Listen again. What phrase completes each statement? Write the correct letter. Unit twenty-one, page eighty-four, four. Let's listen. Task one. People are discussing their rooms. Listen and check the correct information. One. Is your room okay? Well, it's certainly big enough. That's a nice change. A lot of hotel rooms these days are very small. 
There's also plenty of space in the bathroom. That's good. I wish I had a better view, though. There's nothing to see except the cars in the parking garage. You could always change. I guess so, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, it's great to have a TV and a fax machine in the room. There's also a coffee maker, so I can make coffee whenever I want it. I was a little disappointed that there was nothing, not even a bottle of water, in the refrigerator when I checked in. But I called down and asked them to fill it up, and they did that right away. 2. Is your room big enough for the two of you? Well, it's kind of small. By the time we put our bags on the floor, there was hardly any room to move. But you should see the bathroom. It's almost as big as the bedroom. It's great, but isn't that strange? A bathroom bigger than the room. It is. What floor are you on? We're on the second floor, so we don't really see anything interesting. Just the street and the building next to us. Is there anything much in the room? Just the bed and a tiny refrigerator big enough for two bottles of water. The bed is as hard as a rock. I could hardly sleep last night. The manager said they would bring me a softer mattress later. Well, that's good. 3. Is your room at the hotel okay? It's not bad. It's a good-sized room, so that's nice. The bathroom is absolutely tiny, though, and it doesn't have an electrical outlet, so I can't use my hair dryer in there. That's inconvenient. At least I can look out at the beautiful park across the street. I like to be able to see trees from my window. That sounds lovely. Is there a lot in the room? No, not really. Just an old TV, but no refrigerator or anything else. It was really hot last night, and I couldn't sleep, so I spoke to the manager about it. She sent up an electric fan as soon as I called. That should help. Four. Is your room okay? It's pretty good, thanks. That's good. How big is the room? Well, it could be bigger. It really is pretty small. There's just enough room for one chair beside the bed. It does sound small. Yeah, but my only real complaint is with the shower. The water is either much too hot or way too cold. I'm going crazy. Luckily, I spoke to the manager, and he's sending a plumber up tomorrow. That's nice of him. How about the view? Oh, I do love the view of the city at night. It's wonderful. That's fantastic. What does the room have in it? Well, there's a really nice TV and a stereo. Plus, there's a fax machine and one of those mini fridges. Everything I need. Task 2. Listen again. What did each guest complain about? Circle the correct answer. Unit 22, page 88. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are describing solutions to traffic problems in their cities. What did each city do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. In my town, public transportation was never very good. You had to drive everywhere, so there was always traffic. The government wanted to make public transportation easier than driving cars. They bought some nice new buses, for example, and they added air conditioning to the ones we already had. They also began offering lower bus fares on the weekends, so more people would be encouraged to try the new buses. They raised taxi fares, too. I guess they figure that if taxis cost more, people might think about using buses more. 2. Well, the problem was that thousands of people drove into the city center every day, and there weren't enough parking spaces. So the government wanted to make parking easier. But they didn't build more parking garages. Instead, they tried to keep cars out of the city center. Recently, they started making people who drive their cars downtown pay a daily fee. You have to pay $10 if you want to drive your car into the center between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m., at the same time, they have raised the parking lot rates, so people think twice before they drive their car downtown. 3. Traffic was a real problem around here. It moved so slowly. Last year, the government turned a bunch of streets downtown into one-way streets. This helped the traffic move more quickly. 
special lanes on roads just for buses were built at the same time. If you're caught driving your car in a bus lane, you have to pay a fine, and it's a really high fine. Also, they passed a law last year that says you can only drive your car downtown three days a week. You have to display a special pass in your car that says which days you're allowed to drive downtown. 4. Air pollution in our city was a huge problem, and we really need to lower the pollution in our city. I guess that's why the government started putting special bicycle lanes on the streets downtown. That way, people can ride their bikes to work instead of using their stinky cars. They also made a rule that says there must be at least two people in your car if you want to drive downtown during the week. They also ordered these amazing new pollution-free buses. They use electricity, so they don't put anything bad into the air. Task 2. Listen again. What problem did each city have? Write the correct letter. Unit 23, page 92. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People left voicemails for their roommates. What do they want their roommates to do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hi, Paul. This is Ted. Listen, could you do me a favor? I left my chemistry book on my bed. I hope you can find it. The bed's a mess because I didn't have time to make it this morning. Could you bring my book with you to class this afternoon? I need it for class, and I don't have time to go back for it. Thanks. 2. Anne, this is Margaret. I've invited a couple of friends to come by tonight at 7.30 to watch TV with us. You know them, Dave and Sue. Would you be able to pick up some snacks? I have a class till 7, so I won't have time to buy them before the guests arrive. I'll pay you back when I get home. Thanks. 3. Hey, Ken. It's John. Guess what? My folks just sent me an email to say they'll be over to visit around 5. Sorry, but I left the living room in a real mess. Could you give it a quick cleanup? I have football practice till 4.30, and I can't get back to do it myself. We can all go out for dinner together later. I'll buy you whatever you want to eat. 4. Brenda, this is Carrie. I'm calling because we're completely out of food. Sorry, but some friends came by earlier and we finished everything. We were really hungry. The refrigerator is completely empty. Could you get a few things for dinner on the way home? I have to finish an assignment, so I won't be home till about 8. By the way, I cleaned the apartment. I hope you like it. Task 2. Listen again. Are these statements true or false? Check the correct answer. Unit 24. Page 96. 4. Let's listen. Task 1. People are describing travel experiences. Is each statement true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Cassandra. I met this really nice family when I was in Korea last year. I was in a restaurant and I was having trouble understanding the menu. The wife came over and asked me what I wanted to eat and told me all about Korean food. Then they asked me to join them at their table and they paid for my dinner. They also invited me to their house. We became friends, and we keep in touch now by email. They'll take me to a famous temple the next time I go back. Isn't that fabulous? I can't wait to see that temple. 2. Brooke Once when I was in Italy, I took a bus trip from Rome to Florence. The bus was very crowded, and I had to stand most of the way. I had a couple of small bags with me. One was a backpack that had my wallet in it. I kept it in front of me for the entire trip. But when I got to Florence, I couldn't believe what had happened. Someone had cut a hole in my backpack, put in their hand, and removed my wallet. 
Then they took the money out and put the wallet back inside my backpack. I never noticed a thing. It really ruined my vacation because I couldn't pay to get into any museums. So now I want to go back again next summer and really see the museums I missed. 3. Corey Last summer I flew from London to Casablanca in Morocco to do some research on the traditional music there. Unfortunately, my bags didn't arrive with the flight. I thought it would probably arrive on the next flight, but they didn't. I had nothing to wear except the clothes I was wearing. Luckily, the airline gave me some money to buy some extra clothes and things. The bags didn't turn up till four days later. I was really glad to get my bags back because I had a lot of important stuff inside them. But I had to wait around until they turned up, so I didn't get a chance to listen to any of the traditional music. That's why I want to get back there again sometime. 4. Melanie I was on vacation in Australia last summer when I got a terrible case of the flu. I had to stay in bed for four days, and it was a week before I was feeling well enough to go out. I have a cousin in Sydney who was really kind and spent a lot of time with me until I was better. By then, I only had three days of sightseeing left before I had to leave. I saw the Sydney Opera House, and that was about it. The most awful thing is I didn't have the chance to go scuba diving. I want to go back and scuba dive there. It has the best coral reefs in the world. Task 2. Listen again. Why does each person want to go back again? Write the correct letter.